All right. We did it. Everyone What's up? Look at that. They can hear us. No technical Perfect. difficulties. Woo. That's what I like to see. Never hey any guys. technical difficulties. Why never. would you say that? Why would you say that out loud? It never I think you just jinxed it's, it. it. No, 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 no. <laughs> never, never. I'm saying it as a record to my past, which is a lie. Um, hey, guys. I'm Masood. I'm the DM. We're playing A Curious Tale of uh, Wisteria Vale with Stir Friday Night with special guest Kaylee uh mcbray we're so excited to have you here is, is it just bray or did i get it wrong it's just bray it's just bray it's, I'm sorry. It's just bray. i added i added a mick for a, a silly reason uh, okay. <laughs> i'm just a troll i just forget what my name is all the time Perfect. kaylee's fine <laughs> Kaylee i don't Bray's have a here. last name well we're so excited to have you we're very um uh, pumped to be here um i mean obviously it's a charity stream. We're supporting uh, Hate is a Virus. Thank you so much, Roll20, for putting this together and all the wonderful folks behind making today happen. Um, but, uh, you know, there's a lot of terrible stuff going on. It's been um, a year where, my goodness, have we seen a lot of change. And in that has led to um, a rise in particular aggression towards a targeted community. Um, and enough is enough. So we here at Roll20 and uh, folks at the table present with us, along with everyone who put today together, d wanted to do something about it. So we organized this charity stream. We're working with Hate is a Virus to help support against uh, anti-Asian hate. Um, and we're very pumped to be here. Um, I think I did it. I think I talked about all the, the reasons why we're here and I, and I covered it in a real important way. We've got the Tiltify up above. So if you're looking to support, feel free to chime in. Um, I've been talking a lot. Guys, why don't you introduce yourselves? <laughs> Let's go around, <laughs> tell them who you are, uh, maybe a little bit about the character you're going to be playing, um, and uh, mm, what is your favorite, <laughs> what I'll say, home dish? What would you call we'll qualify as like a home dish? Which one is your favorite? And I'm going to throw it to Erica first. Okay, hey everybody, my name is Erica. My pronouns are she, her, hers. I am playing Hopsy Topsy, uh, which is a character that Ben built for me. It's a dumb elf. He made me a very low intelligence, I'm sorry, dwarf. A very low intelligence dwarf who uh, brews beer and uh, is an archer. So I'm excited to see what Hopsy Topsy can do uh, and see if she can help at all in this quest. Um, what is my favorite home food? Mm -hmm. So um, anybody um, with an Asian mother, you might know if you mention that you like something, every time you go home, it'll be right there for you. Yeah. <laughs> so um, I don't know the name of this dish, but it's basically um, braised daikon radish and um, uh, fried tofu packets, <laughs> I guess, um, in like a, a, like a simmer sauce. It's really good. Oh, yeah. Um, I'll look up the name and I'll, I'll make sure I say it before the end of the stream so you guys can make some too. That sounds delicious. Harrison, yeah. you want to go next? Hi everyone, I'm Harrison Happen. He, him, his. Uh, I am playing. Uh, I am playing a dragonborn, acrobatic dragon, uh, born by the name of Haku Hapini. Um, I'm also dumb as well because Ben created the character, but <laughs> you guys aren't um, that dumb. It's like a realistic amount. Of yeah, it. is that right? Negative one. I should, you know. Yeah, it's your modifier. <laughs> That's fine. Oh, you, you, y'all are actually, I think, smarter than me. Really? <laughs> <laughs> what? Well, let me guess. What, what is Ben? <laughs> Ben's like plus five or something. Yeah, I am. <laughs> yeah, Whatever. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, um, uh, Haku Hapini is my name. Uh, so um, I guess for the like a home dish. <laughs> Spinach and eggs. <laughs> Tell me about it. Ooh, yeah, yeah. I, I love spinach and eggs. Yeah. It's like as a kid, like as a kid uh, growing up, uh -huh. like that was my my babysitter made that yeah. for me, and I just like fell in love with it, yeah. and like it's still to this day, um, like I have it almost like a few times a week when I get home from work, and then you know I put some like cauliflower rice and rice in there to yeah. scramble yeah. it up, yeah. but uh, pretty uh, pretty basic. Oh, it's a scramble. I yeah. thought you meant you cook eggs and then you cook spinach and you eat them separately. <laughs> no. No, no, no. No, <laughs> no I totally vibe this because, like, my so it's my favorite food. When my home food is it, the translation is uh, goat meat potato. 
Like that's like literally, but it's called alu gosh, and it's like it's cooked in a very like oh. style. It's like built. In a, so like I, I like Lily, Spar- Lily Sparks, one of the organizers of today, was like also a big okay. fan of spinach and eggs. Um, nice. Yeah. Mm. All right. Yeah. Ben, what about you? Uh, what's up, everybody? Uh, everybody, my name is Ben Cummings. He, him, his. I am playing a character today since this is a one shot that where I uh, went all out. And so he is named Jericho Lawsbane, and he's an outlaw <laughs> warlock, tiefling, servant of the devil, Asmodeus, uh, and he rocks and he hates the law. He loves hell. Um, so I'm gonna be playing him, and uh, my favorite uh, go-to meal is um, I got. Uh, uh, really into Hungarian food. Hell yeah! Um, and cooking Hungarian food like a year or two ago, mm-hmm. and I still cook it all the time. I'll, really, for folks at home, if you ever want to cook good Hungarian food, really all you need to get is you need to like order actual Hungarian paprika online, because um, that really does make ah. all the difference mm. for things like paprikash. And uh, my <laughs> intelligence modifier is uh, uh, it's two. No one's really smart. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, so I, I really like to make a yeah. goulash. I made chicken paprikash the other day. That was good too. But goulash, my favorite. Hell yeah, very cool. I so there's a spot in um, uh, Avondale where I used to live that had, had a Hungarian restaurant. And I would go there all the time to get the goulash because it was. I just couldn't make it at home. Yeah, dude, worldwide, all the best food is just, like, stewed stuff that yes. peasants had to, like, figure out how to make it taste really good. Mm-hmm. And then you're making it with, like, good ingredients that are fresh and stuff. And it's like, <laughs> great. Because I'm a little. peasant. <laughs> you're a peasant. Cool. <laughs> Wait, is goulash basically, like, mac and cheese with meat in it? No, that's American goulash. This is oh. Hungarian goulash, which is, like, stewed meat, beef, in paprika. So it's sort of, like, soupy, and you serve it over a... Uh, no kedli, which are like little dumplings. Mm-hmm. Really that good. That sounds Ooh, amazing. That sounds very Damn. good. Kaylee, tell us about yourself and your favorite home dish, as well as Daisy. Hey, friends. I'm Kaylee Bray. Uh, my pronouns are she, her. I am playing Daisy, the half elf barbarian. Uh, she. She's just she's just a sweet, sweet soul who wants to make sure that everybody is being nice, and she has never met an animal friend that she didn't want to pet. <laughs> Her intelligence modifier was wrong. I think when I leveled up, I got, my intelligence got a little bit better uh, from one to eleven, so it's uh, it's minus one. Look at that! We're gonna be we're gonna be fine. <laughs> I think you net out at a minus one collectively across everyone. Yeah, so that's good. 100%. It's, it's good. Be, that checks out. Fine. We're smart smart adventurers for a smart people adventure. And it, <laughs> yep, we're gonna be great. Uh, favorite home dish? Yeah. Man, I just love cooking so much. I'm a big baker. Ooh. So I, what do you like to bake? I, I le- I'll, I'll bake anything given the opportunity. I make a lot of pies and pastry. Mm. I've got a lemon tart that I really, Ooh. a recipe that I go back to often. Cheese. Cheese. I made some Thai tea inspired bunt cakes recently. What? Whoa. Wow. What? Very proud of them. Did you put this these? Did you put these on your Instagram? Did you put them on Twitter? Like, can people see? I think they exist on Twitter okay. somewhere. I made them specifically as a um, a themed bake for one of our D and D shows on Pixel Circus. Oh, very fun. So uh, maybe I don't know if they made it all the way to Twitter. <laughs> if it only lives in the Discord, but I will share them because they. They were good, and I was proud of them. Hell yeah. Um, and then there's me. Hi, guys. I'm a suit. I'm, uh, my pronouns are he, him, but I'll be using an assortment of them for the variety of NPCs that will be in- the group will be encountering across our journey today. Um, and my favorite home dish is, um, I mentioned one of them, Alagos, a little bit uh, earlier, but I really, I really love my favorite thing from back home is like, I'm thinking about it now because Eid's around the corner. It's been Ramadan. I'm going to go back home and visit my folks because I'm also been vaccinated i'm so excited um, yeah my mom makes uh these samosas but she makes them out of like phyllo dough like pastry dough and she like fills them with like ground beef and then she like bakes them and it's like ooh, it's it's i have no other way to describe it but like a, a pakistani hot pocket it's 
amazing. Uh, <laughs> that sounds like something is I it cold even in the middle? No, it's 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 it, could you toast it and it's, it's cold in the middle. middle. It's good. Yeah. <laughs> you, gotta, you gotta make them in a microwave and they gotta be so hot lava on the outside. Yeah. <laughs> and then it's, the middle needs to still be frozen. Oh, yeah. okay, okay. I know you got you need to have a toaster oven. That's a secret for this. Oh, true. Oh. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. And then um, so one of the things that we're going to be doing is uh, we'll be doing a giveaway today because we're playing Candlekeep Mysteries. That's the event that we're uh, like the tale that we're exploring, the collection of one shot adventures released by uh, D&D. And um, if you're in the chat, uh, you can actually we're doing a giveaway for it for Roll20. You can get an online compendium collecting all of the adventures that it includes, which is a whole sort. There's like 14 different ones ranging from all different levels. So if you want to just do a one shot with your buddies and you don't want to like worry about how to incorporate or how to build it in, there's a lot of easy options for you there. Um, but yes, yeah, ch- stay in the chat. Um, we've got uh, bots there who will help you out. Uh, Lauren, uh, our excellent, excellent mod, will give directions on how to make sure you can uh, get in on that. Um, but for real, stick around. We'll do a pulling later on the end for your chance to get your own, your own digital copy of <laughs> Candlekeep Mysteries. Boom. For Roll20. Uh, awesome. Did it. Let's get into this game. You guys ready? Yeah. Let's do Hell it. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to move us over to the game screen and we can officially start playing. Okay. So we open on our party in a silent room all we hear is the slow flickering of a candle set on uh the side in a sconce uh, a few lit ablaze in a nice place uh you're inside a room with a single door leading out but inside of it you have a long beautiful wooden table clearly hand carved um six uh matching chairs Behind it, a small end table, a jug of water, um, a little sink and a basin. But you all provided this lovely room inside Candlekeep for your mission. In front of you sits the target of your goal, the start to your adventure, the key to everything. A copy of The Curious Tale of Wisteria Vale. This was handed to you all. Let me pull it up here. by Rylea Market, a female human archmage who was hired by the Harpers to find a team available to deliver this cure to someone inside the book. Yes, inside the book. At first it was confusing given the collective intelligence of your party, what she meant, but she oh, promised you- You can you, put people in books. <laughs> uh, in book. You can put people in books. She promised you that there was a demiplane inside this book, and in it was a man named Quill, a bard, who had been afflicted by a terrible, terrible curse. Evil was corrupting him, keeping him trapped within it, but they had a cure. Handing you all the volume and a dagger and giving you a private space within Candlekeep. You were told that strike this dagger into the source of the curse, and it will take apart what is keeping Quill trapped. Release him, allow him to return. And upon his return, you all receive 5,000 gold uh, gold pieces. A thousand for each of you. Now that was something everyone in this party could understand. As you all are crowded around this book, I'd love for you all um, just to describe your characters, what they look like, and uh, what what were they thinking about as they were brought into this room? Um, well, uh, Daisy is five foot even with, um, long, kind of just like ashy, all purplish hair. Uh, she, uh, convinced a sorcerer to change her appearance one time and she liked it so much she wanted to keep it because it's pretty. Uh, she's got, um, uh, a breastplate on and, uh, she has decorated it with, um, paints of like flowers and other bright colored things. And she, um, well, just being in this room, uh, my immediate thought is wondering if when we go into the book and there are books in the book, if we open those books, if there's another plane in those books, and then what happens if we go into those books when we're already in the book? Okay. 
Roll a, a wisdom saving throw. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Oh, there's a DC 12. You you contemplate the series of layers that it would take to go from one plane of existence into another book that would also potentially lead to another book, ultimately realizing that the only way out would require much like the very simple tale of Hansel and Gretel to follow your breadcrumbs. You need to obviously set something a little bit steeper out, but if you just track trace your, pa uh, your um, path back the way you came in, truly just backstepping, you should be able to undo the conundrum as long as nothing along the way got messed up. Hopsy, hey, hey, Hopsy. Yeah, Daisy, what's up? Do you have any bread? Bread? No, yeah. I use all my stuff to brew beer. I'm not making bread no more. Oh. We should get bread for breadcrumbs. <laughs> oh, you're talking about like a memory thing? Yeah. Well, I'll say all the beer I brought isn't going to help with this memory, but we'll see how it goes. Okay. And what do we see as uh, Hopsy turns away from uh, Daisy to look at the book? What does she look like? Uh, Hopsy is a uh, dwarf from the Texas Hill Country, mm -hmm. and uh, she spends all her time brewing beer and uh, inviting folks into her tavern to enjoy it. That's actually how she met everybody else on this uh, Motley crew. Mm -hmm. um, but she's in it for the gold. She wants to keep her bar open. She wants to uh, expand it even. If she gets all of that money. Mm. Um, but yeah. She's looking at the book. She's never read a recipe in her life. She's just kind of scratching her head being like... Someone's going to read this thing to me or what? <laughs> <laughs> Jericho? Yeah, yeah, I can read it. I can read it fine. Um, Jericho is a, a tiefling mm -hmm. who, as far as tieflings go, really, really looks like a demon. Like, <laughs> like really bright uh -huh. crimson skin, huge horns, black hair, uh, small mustache that curls at the end. And um, he's not doing so well right now because he met at Hopsy Topsy Topsy's Terrific Tavern, which I think is the official name. <laughs> yeah. Um, mm -hmm. uh, he met everybody there, and as uh, as he is wont to do for his god or his uh, devil, Asmodeus, who is a uh, patron of indulgence, mm -hmm. he overindulged mm -hmm. and is feeling it today. Um. So with a Herculean effort, he brings himself and points a taloned finger at the book mm -hmm. and says, uh, do you want me to read this or am I... Uh, what's going to happen if I open this? Um, anyone can make a history check as you look at the cover. And let me describe the cover as you um, look at it. It's a beautiful green leather book with leaves and vines carefully burned into the corners on the front and back covers. The title is embossed in gold on the front, but no author is credited on the outside or inside of the book. It's six inches wide, nine inches tall, and an inch thick. The thick cream-colored pages emit a faint scent of flowers and grass, and the writing in it is neat and steady. What are, what are people roll? We got, um... A nine and a 16 on that. So, uh, Kay uh, Kaylee, Daisy doesn't really, it doesn't come to you, um, the name. It's it's on the tip of your finger, but Jericho, as you look at it, you actually realize that this book is the fictionalized retelling of errant Quill's rise and fall. With many parallels to real events, including the appearance of the Harper Wizard who hired you all. It's almost as if it's telling your story. The characters who succeed on, um, you've succeeded on this chest by a little bit above enough to tell you that the name of the village uh, on uh, the river Cronathar was in fact Wisteria Vale, just east of Baldur's Gate, but that was destroyed over a decade ago. No one's really, like, that village is gone. Um, but now, here the story of it sits in front of you. 
uh, Jericho scra- uh, grips his temples and uh, massages them before telling everybody, this is the tale of some some town, Wisteria Vale, I think it's gone now, if I remember correctly. Some sort of knight's errant tale, a romance. Hmm. Oh, this isn't going to be worth the money. It's a lot of money, though. Haku, what do you feel when uh, Jericho says it's not going to be worth the money? Ah, oh, forget it then. <laughs> I can't enough. I, I need money to buy my bagpipes back. I just got out of jail. Please. Yeah, you didn't get an introduction. I was like, I'm not going to let that slide. <laughs> Come on, always. Um, Haku is sitting uh, at the corner of the room in the shadows. Uh, his green scale alike is blending into the like moss that it's like slowly <laughs> that it's like that's with the uh, that's in the bar. Okay. Um, Haku uh, is uh, has a a leather uh, a leather out a leather um, Curse like outfit. Um, uh, Haku, Haku uh, likes to be in the shadows, um, and uh, Haku is sipping on rumple mints uh, for this. Just, uh, just watching. Hell yeah! Also, hello, Shu. It's good to see you. <laughs> How's up, Shu? Moving. Hi, um... Shu. <laughs> I um, yeah. Haku, Haku. Maybe there's maybe there's bagpipes in in the book. Maybe you could get book bagpipes. Book bagpipes? Bagpipes made out of books? I don't know. I don't is everything okay. gonna be made out of books when we go in the book? We're going in the book, right? We're going we're going inside the book. Mm. We're gonna go in the book. The book is a portal to another plane. The book is a plane. As you guys we're going in the book. Say the line going in the book. You remember uh Rylea told the you all that the final scene there's a line that gives a clue to the portal's activation phrase, but she didn't know the full details. Um, Any of you can, uh, did anyone actually like read, look inside the book and see what it is? Like, you know what it's telling the story of. Um, But as you're life leafing through, I think it finally actually shakes on you that it's a play. This is a, it's not even like a, a novel. It's actually a script and in it, um, it's got different lines and characters, and there's a lot of sort of stuff going on inside of it. Um, in the first act, the protagonist, uh, Vargan, lives out a peaceful childhood in the village of Wisteria Vale. Vargan is a boy with a penchant for storytelling and a knack for magic. During the day, Vargan helps his paragon, uh, parents on the farm, and in the evening, he performs in the tavern to the delight of all the villagers. When Vargan is on the cusp of adulthood, the cruel lord, Ephraim Rathmore, visits Wisteria Vale, demanding yeah. drink, food, and a place for him and his retinue to stay. As you guys get to this part, you see Jericho, like, thumping the table, like, refilling himself from uh, yeah. Hopsy's brew that she's, like, the mini keg that she carries with her everywhere she goes. Um, lord <laughs> Rathmore, um, when hospitality isn't to his liking, he burns down the village. Oh, come on now. Leaving Vargan nice. alive, Vargan alive as a witness to his village's punishment, but not before slashing him across the face with a crystal dagger. This event changes Vargan forever, and he vows to bring down the pitiless lord and prevent him from hurting anyone ever again. In the second act, Vargan tracks down Lord Rathmore in a bustling city. Unsure how to proceed, the young bard starts asking around the city for information. He's approached by a wizard who tells him that she belongs to a secret group looking to bring down Lord Rathmore and others who may have been corrupted by evil. The wizard invites Vargan to join the secret organization and he agrees, becoming a member of the Harpers. Now, you know the Harpers were the group that Rylea, Margaret, worked for, the ones that hired you. Um, with the aid of the information from the Harpers, Vargan sneaks into Lord Rathmore's manor during a banquet, disguised as a performer, and dispatches Rathmore once and for all. Although his quest for vengeance has been fulfilled, Vargan is obsessed with the fact that many other corrupt and evil people exist across the land, and the only people, and that only people like him and the Harpers can stop him. Act three, Vargan becomes more powerful, using his talents in magic and espionage to single-handedly take down corrupt kings and mages. Although he becomes a legend among the outside, uh, among, among and outside the Harpers, he stays humble believing that it is his duty to protect others. At the climax of the play, though, 
Bargain battles an Archmage who is turned evil by an ancient crystal touched by the evil god Syriac. Though Vargan defeats the Archmage, prolonged contact with the crystal corrupts the bard, convincing him that his former allies are too powerful and must be eliminated. The Harpers devise a solution to prevent Vargan from hurting anyone while they develop a cure, banishing him to a demiplane. The play ends with a short monologue by the Harper wizard who befriended Vargan years ago, stating that though Vargan's ultimate fate is still unknown, the day will come when light will banish the darkness. Um, anyone? Yeah. Anyone want to make an intelligence check based on that or an investigation based on like that history can, and I can well, for, provide a little illumination. Jericho says, no notes. Great pacing. <laughs> Loved it. Don't know about the epilogue. Don't know if we need it. This is a really, really exciting play. I like <laughs> that story. Yeah. So, so a play is not a book. But it starts as a book, and then you have to wait, wait, wait. No, I learned this. I learned this. You, you started with the book, and then the people read the stuff, and then it's a play, like no, out if, loud. So if I said, I can't say I've read ten books if I've read ten plays. No, you people do that, but it's not the same. <laughs> oh, okay. But they are technically books. Like, it, they are a physical, it's like paper and it's bound. Mm -hmm. Like, isn't that Right, a book? but it takes like an hour to read a play and it takes like way longer to read a book. So are people you... are always like, I read 10 books this month, but it's- like, I feel that that's days. like gatekeeping them. Yeah, those books. could be books. It's, it's, all right, I guess it is gatekeeping, but also it's not, <laughs> they're not, they're not books. It's just a different thing. You know what makes me mad about that story we just heard is that that guy, he, he burned down the whole tavern. You know how expensive it is to run a tavern? And then just because they don't do hospitality to your whole retinue, you're going to burn it down? I absolutely I wanna... think that that's the takeaway from this play. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Yeah. As you I guys like are flipping through, um, I think, uh, who's who's flipping through the book? It sounded like Kay's, uh, Daisy was going through. It's like, oh, it's just, you know, it's just like any other sort of text, the script. Um I think you all see that in the script, the penultimate line spoken by the Harper wizard is underlined twice. None of the other Something lines that. have that sort of mark. It says, we lift up our light to reveal what is hidden and banish the darkness forever. Yes, so we, so we, do we like, do I have to pick it up? <laughs> Anyone can make an I'll, intelligence I'll check on this. I'll do an intelligence check <laughs> yeah. on this. Can't say it'll be good, but it's I'll okay. do it. Give it a shot. Um, let's see. And then where do I click here? I think it's just raw intelligence. So um, you just click the intelligence above your mm -hmm. ability score. Oh, 14. Nice. DC oh, was 12. You, Hopsy, look, you're not as, let's say, you don't read as many plays that Jericho says he does. Um, but you have worked and ran your bar for a while. You got a little bit of knowledge. You know how to critically analyze things. And you realize this line right here, it might be more than a metaphor. Daisy was probably onto something, lifting it up, but to what? Not, maybe it's not lifting it up. Maybe it's just bringing light to it. If you, on that, you go over to the can one of the sconces, you take the candle out of it. <sighs> dripping a little bit of wax, being careful. Um, you bring it over to the uh, script, um, and it says, written in invisible ink, Harper's at Twilight. Do you say it out loud? I say, oh my God, the book got longer. <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> did I write that? Did I write something? Wow. Do you have magic powers you didn't tell us about, Hopsy? Oh I I guess I do. Um Jer can Jericho know that it's invisible ink? Like is he familiar with that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah. you really like the light charge. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's it's called invisible ink. It only shows up sometimes under certain circumstances. There's different types. I think Haku would also know as the thief that you would like totally sends secret messages through stuff like if you need to decipher codes because you also have thieves can't so that can kind of be like a part of it um and as you yeah yes 
make it out. Harper's I, 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 I cover. I you hear I cover the back sometimes. I cover myself in ink sometimes. <laughs> As Haku's going off about saying how he covers himself in ink, you hear Daisy go, "Harper's at twilight." When what the phrase mean? is uttered, the book shakes and flies uh, into the air, flipping of their own accord, oh, and ah. separate from the binding, then rearranging themselves to form a portal. Ooh, did I write that too? Oops, did I do that? <laughs> um, wow, we're powerful, Daisy. Wow! Oh, this is so cool. Do you think we can do this with other books? We should just start putting candles to books, but maybe not when we go oh. in the book. Is this why people have libraries? I bet it is, because you can make more doors. Wow. Our book, are all books doors? I think they are. In a sense. I don't understand the metaphor. <laughs> Reading rainbow. <laughs> <laughs> um, I want to do some high magic, Masood. Oh, okay. There's, what, there's, a, there's a portal. Guess in front what's of a you. spell I know, dog? What, what, high magic is a spell. Guess what? No, dog. Well, it's called. What? Contact other plane. Ooh! And if, oh. and if I don't make successful contact, I go insane until my next uh, long rest. <laughs> oh, come on! <laughs> yeah. Okay. Put it. Put uh, in the chat. Put the spell in the chat. Let me read it. Let me read it out loud. Let the folks at home get a chance to follow along. That's okay. a one shot. You could, you could just walk through. Like I just want you to know, like it's a portal. Like it's it, like it's literally in an arch. It's a it's like a doorway in front of you guys. Absolutely. You mentally contact uh, a demigod, <laughs> the spirit of a long dead sage, or some other entity from another plane. Contacting this extra planet, your intelligence can strain you when you make a DC. Okay. Six, six, six. If you want to do this, go for it. Okay. Well, you, it's the only time I'm going to use it. Absolutely. Right? I mean, I mean, yeah, you're absolutely right. Okay. So you re, uh, do you want to give me a intelligence saving throw? So it's, you know what the saving throws are? You got that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hit me with it. I'm, ju I'm just thinking about whether this is good. <laughs> Too late. Mm-hmm. Oh, no. Buddy. <laughs> oh, no. uh, let's let's be fair. We got we got to be fair on this. Um, what's it called? Uh, Can I roll sixty six here? Oh yeah, definitely. Oh, you got it. All right, well, I did five. And then let me add one more. What do we get? Twenty. Yeah, twenty damage coming to you. Yeah, perfect. Um, Down from as your sixty nine. Yeah, to forty nine. Okay, great. We. I'm very <laughs> proud of you that you get to tell what you made sure your health was your maximum health was. Uh, I wanna. It's nice. Um, so, as you take this the twenty damage, you're trying. It's actually you reach out into this demi plane. You're trying to contact whatever. You're trying to reach out to Quill. Ideally, the source of the uh, mission. You want to locate him within this place, looking out, reaching, maybe hoping to give you direction um, on your path. And as you do, you begin to feel that tether of uh, Osmodius. You feel his draw, and almost as if your shadow is extending from your feet, it begins to draw and dart forward. Your consciousness following it, pushing you closer and closer into the portals to map out your target. And right as you're about to hit it, bah, you're blasted back by something. And it shoots back in you, and the pain just makes that hangover you're feeling so much worse. Uh, what does this look like for Jericho as uh, you get recoiled by this energy? In a meta sense, I think it's hilarious that the first roll I did, I got a 20 damage and I'm insane and can only speak gibberish. <laughs> <laughs> But, um, so you think a long for, rest for Jericho, or a greater restoration can heal this if anyone knows. Yeah, no, no, ain't nobody know that. <laughs> <laughs> um, Jericho uh, is trying to, you know, you move away, fight these out. He's trying to like yeah. connect with the other portal, mm -hmm. and um, something inside his brain snaps like a rubber band, <laughs> and uh, he collapses on the floor and backwards, mm -hmm. back and uh, on the ground, <laughs> and. Uh, <laughs> And uh, when anyone tries to talk to him, he's, his eyes are rolled up into his head. So all you see is the yellows of his red eyes. And uh, he uh, only responds like Robert De Niro at the end of Cape Fear when he's speaking in tongues. And he's like, <laughs> <laughs> oh. He responds like, uh, like uh, Donnie from, uh, Donnie from uh, Wild Thornton. <laughs> 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 
Oh, he oh. did it again. Jericho, he does this at the bar all the time. <laughs> Jericho? Yeah, it's usually after 10, 10 shots of Rumble Nuts. <sighs> um, well, I get, do we have, do we bring him in the book with us? Jericho, do you want to yeah. go in the book? <laughs> let's, just, let's just drag okay. him through. Okay, time to go in the book. Um, does anybody else want to do anything else that um, might make them not talk to us in English anymore? Or are we okay to go in the book? I mean, I think she's asking, does anyone want a beer for the road before we go in the book? Oh, I'll have a beer for the road. Okay, here you go. Okay. Through to myself. Here you go. Thank you. All right, let's just all go, 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 go. go. Yeah, I can't take any action. I can't take any action. <laughs> oh my as, god! Doing this thing. As you're being dragged and you can't speak, uh, you're you're um, you can't. This is so long, dude. I'm so sorry. You're we're gonna have to give you a rest of some kind. As you uh, pull, <laughs> in. I, I made my choice. I, I live with okay. it. You Great idea, walk Jericho. in, um, dragging Jericho behind you through, and as you go, you see the pages uh, close behind you as you walk in to Visteria fail. Um, and for that, oh, my wonderful uh, players, we head on over to the Visteria Vale map. Ooh. Uh, so you all appear right at the edge of uh, town on this um, beautiful, I'm gonna ping it so you guys can see, like oh. right at the edge of this fork leading in. Um, as you all are looking out into this uh, space. Anyone want to uh, give me a perception check? I can describe what you all see. Sure, yeah. I want to look around. I can do this part, mm -hmm. sort of. Oh, 13. Awesome. So as you're looking around, you gather a few things. You walked inside and you were able to piece it a little bit together based on what we were talking about like going into a plane and from the story daisy kind of gets the idea that like this wisteria veil vale was made by the harpers as the book was telling it like one purpose exists for this to keep errant quill at bay while they devise a cure for his corruption everything in wisteria veil vale was created by them it's bright it's colorful and it's tailored to keep him comfortable and entertained the weather's pretty mild and temperate and um with you look at these crops they look pristine like perfect but not yet ready to harvest like they just haven't reached that point um and you are looking around that it always seems as if it's almost in full bloom with verdant greenery the air is filled with just soothing songs of birds and crickets and uh, a gentle breeze ruffling the leaves um yeah i like it here yeah it's kind of nice it's nice so we're, he's in here somewhere so do we have to go talk wait what are we doing here again jericho <laughs> <laughs> You Jim as your uh, snap out of it. We have to, <laughs> yeah. They didn't give us anything to help him, right? Or did they give us a cure? Or they just said that there was one. They give you the the dagger. They so we have it, right? Okay. You have the dagger. Um, and as you're looking around, you see uh, there's a sort of around you, right over here, right over here. Okay. Uh, okay. That is this forest that seems to perfectly encircle the village. Um, you see right here, there's some farms sort of present mm -hmm. um, on the space. Uh, you, um, over here, you see some foot traffic moving in and out of the town that looks to kind of be, you would guess, a um, tavern. Um, and I'm going to give you, from where you're standing right now, I think you can't really make out this building or this building. Um, no, actually, you can make up. This is the marketplace. You see a lot of like shops and stalls, um, farmers selling their wares, um, and you can see um, actually above the town, sitting on a beautiful, uh, pristine lawn, that rising hill, a gorgeous manor. It's the biggest Ooh. and most ornate building in this village. It's two stories tall. It's two stories tall, um, and it made of white stone that seems to almost. Ching, blind you as you look at it well if Yama. somebody built a town for me i feel like they would build me also the fanciest house right 
Yeah, that's probably where he is. So, I have a question. Mm. Uh, one, who is the dagger? Jericho's got it. <laughs> that makes sense. Uh, do, we, do we have to stab the guy? Or do we... They said stab the source of corruption, right? Or start stab, like, the reason that he's bad. So maybe we... Maybe we shouldn't stab him. Do we know what the source is, or is that part of why we're here and why we're getting so much money for this? It seems to be unclear. I think from what you know about it, the source of from the play, it well, if you we look back at the play, the allegory that's made is something cut him, and he um, like from that started to believe that his friends were, in, in fact, uh, not his friends. They were his enemies. Um, I'll pull up. <coughs> no, you know, just uh, let me... Don't mind if we check out the Maybe we should get some intel. Maybe we go up to the mansion. I just want to check out the competition and stuff mm -hmm. and see if anybody's chatty. I think that's a good idea. We always yeah. do our best work in taverns. Mm -hmm. That's true. So you all make your way to the tavern, sort of walking along the farm. Uh, yeah, which path do you take? Do you cut through um, the marketplace or do you walk through uh, the farms? Because you got these two branching paths. I'd like to go through the marketplace. Okay. Kind of see what buyers right. they have. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So as you uh, maybe make, have a backpack. yeah. As you, oh, maybe. maybe. Oh, now you got me excited. Okay, <laughs> let's go. <laughs> As you guys are walking through, uh, it's a small marketplace where the farmers, um, like I said, uh, at the edge of the village sell their wares. Um, and you see quite a lot of bit stuff here. There seems to be um, even a little cart of a traveling merchant who is, is set up a little spot a little bit further out, like right here. Um, you see there's like, oh, a traveling merchant came to Wisteriaville, pulls out a banner. Um, Come see rotating wares. Um there seems to be food and fabric and other goods from outside the village um, as you're looking at it. And uh, anyone give me a perception check as you make your way past the people here. It's a hot one. I have Ooh. Never, I have Oh, Roll 20. 19. You and me real nice yeah. today. Um, as you are walking through, you see all of the people of Wisteria Vale look at you all and begin to smile and say, Oh, guests! We haven't had guests! Guests! You see them shouting you whispers. Guests! We haven't had guests in, in forever. Nice to have guests. Guests come to our home. Guests! And they keep going, going. And... Kaylee, it's something weird about how they keep saying the word guests. And as you look at them, you begin to notice um, their features a little bit as they walk around. And you realize that they're almost the exact same grain and hue of the Viridian forest around them. These are wooden mannequins constructed by the Harpers to act as villagers in this demiplane. Everything about this was made to be a support system for Quill, even the villagers of this town that populate it. My dude um, living in VR. As you look at them and you see them, you can hear a faint clicking sound whenever a villager touches a hard surface. Um, and they also, as they uh, put their hands you and say, come, come, come eat, come join us, come to the manor for the banquet. They push you guys along. They have very cold hands. Um, they have no blood. It's okay. Sometimes people are different. Sometimes people are not people. We are polite to them anyway, because we have to be nice. Thank you very much. Hey, thank you so much. You guys, you, they're not, they're, they're like, they're pretend, right? You see that? They're pretend? I think so. I stole a piece of coin off of that one over there, that wooden one, and they didn't even budge, so. Yeah, is the coin, is the coin wood too? Yeah, the coin is wood. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I wonder how much they As you guys, uh, 
forgot Jericho. Um, <laughs> as you guys walk in uh, to uh, the tavern, you see a sign hanging above it saying Silks and Souls. Um, and as you walk in, you see a male human construct standing behind the bar, um, fixing a glass and a uh, tiefling over to the side, wiping down a table. Um, and they look and they see you all and they say, Ah, welcome! The man behind the bar uh, puts down his mug. Come, this is Silks and Souls, the lovely home of myself, Joseph, and my wife, Henrietta. Come join us. Enter, enter. Um, and you see Henrietta goes, Hello, I am a cobbler. Please, let me take a look at your feet. And uh, guides you to a chair to start making you special shoes as they sit in there. Wow, I'm glad that you clarified that you were a cobbler because I was gonna have to ask um, uh, for clarification on what kind of soul um, you uh, deal in. Because, yeah. you know, I was, I don't know. Sometimes Jericho gets excited when it's the other kind of soul. Um, and really? I wanted it might be his favorite. Oh, no, that is <laughs> that is no good. What's wrong with him? I don't know. Do you have shoes for that? No, but we do have a healer for that. Joseph's, and you see Joseph's. I'll I'll contact the doctor. We'll have him patched up in a moment. Please, we have not had guests in a while. Sit, eat, be merry, and enjoy. Okay. Thank you. Thanks. And they set out a spread in front of you, Jericho. You um, get looked at by a doctor as they're getting things um, prepared, and you um, get a greater restoration cured of your insanity. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. You're welcome. Yeah. <laughs> Snaps out of it. Are we in the pl- are we in the plane now? So where, where am I? Oh yeah, we're in we're inside the book. It's like I was trapped inside my own body. No, inside the book. Joseph says, still wiping down the same mug as the food has been placed in front of you in, in space. Why, friend, you're in Wisteria Vale, the lovely home of a peaceful village under the yeah, guardianship yeah, yeah, yeah. of yeah. Mr. Errant Quill. Oh, we are so lucky to be here for Mr. Errant Quill. Okay, so you're one of those who thinks a play is in a book. Okay. Yeah, I, I know you're trying to to create an immersive world here, but uh, we are inside of a book. This is a demiplane. This is not a real plane of existence so oh oh jericho you missed that is wait is um are these pe- are these people wooden people too oh yeah okay yeah no they're all they're all wooden people so they're they're the they are also the book point taken uh carry on this is a lovely establishment thank you for the treatment mm. well Hello. we're happy to have you all here but we you must know we are going to be closing up early because there's a party at the manner that uh, Mr. Errant Quill was so kind enough to invite us to. Uh, you see, recently it was just us in Wisteriaville and Quinn uh, Quill above in the glorious manner when uh, Henrietta chimes in. Yes, when the visitor arrived two weeks ago, and my goodness, the party that has been taking place since, <laughs> what a rowdy adventure. So excited to go up there later today. Two weeks ago? I thought he's been in there a lot longer. Huh. Well, is what we're wearing okay for the party and do you think we can go? Or do uh, we need uh, the formal oh, invite? Oh, oh, no, I don't. Do you have an invitation? Oh. Where, where do we get an invitation? Oh, I don't know if they're still sending out invitations. Um. Can we buy an invitation? No. Oh, oh. Slides. Yeah. <laughs> slides. Ten wooden oh. points. Ten wooden points. <laughs> I maybe we can make something as a plus one, huh? Yeah. Oh. We'll say you guys are our plus one, but for it might be fifty gold coins because it seems like ten per person feels reasonable. All right, pull my leg. Here is 40 extra coins. There you go. <laughs> These just, like, wood that you've, like, 
pulled they've apart. They've stolen from, yeah. <laughs> the, the all, the, all the people that you've been, like, pickpocketing and stuff like that. went through the marketplace. <laughs> <laughs> it's also useless to you. It's wooden coins. There's, like, you can't <laughs> use this <laughs> anywhere else. Uh, it's just practice. <laughs> and so as you guys get situated uh, and settled up, you begin to uh, make your way up to uh the manor as um you're walking up you see um henrietta and just says now now we've been nervous about the visitor that arrived because it made things a little different around here but if mr quill is supportive of them and you see joseph's go yes if mr quill is supportive of them we are grateful to be here and can you can you tell us about them Oh, they are magnificent and so great and terrible and uh, a, a sight to behold, for sure. Oh, okay. Those are... Do you know what their their name is or what they look like or mm. or how we should how we should greet them in order to be polite party guests? Uh as you guys uh hear about that you um what's it called here uh, just enjoy the party and do not make a scene and whatever you do do not upset Renicor, the new guest he is making sure that the party is happening and everyone is having a good time I have okay. a good time I'm good at having a good time. Mm -hmm. As long as they're nice. Mm -hmm. And as you begin to walk up uh, to the manor, uh, you... Let's see. While we're here. Going to take us to... Funky Towns. Not Funky Towns. I wish. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. go to yeah we're going to funky town I said. you're going to funky town <laughs> incredible <laughs> uh, daisy jericho and hopsy topsy okay cool um, so you guys are led to the front door and you're as you enter um, to the space you are there you see a bouncer at the front guarding the uh, space you see Joseph and Henrietta say hello we are so excited for this party yes we even brought some more guests for the party the more the merrier and you see the bouncer goes yes it is said the more the merrier come on in um, also, I just want to note, we have reached a, one of our, uh, donation goals. We're $50 in. Thank you. Thank you for, uh, donations. Got to keep track of that. And I got to keep, yes. keep track of what Thank did I you. promise to do, uh, for on $50. Ah, you beat a mini boss. You get hey. a mini boss. Oh. And hey. as you, um, uh, are standing, this bouncer says, yes, that's what they say. The more, the merrier. You see, um, another figure from the back begin um, to move forward a um, rather large individual um, and let me yeah we heard the sound of yeah, the steps. credit card swiping and then we heard <laughs> 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 this guy materialized uh -huh. huh. it's a shame okay Ba, ba, ba. I'm pulling this up right here. I gotta redeem myself after that brutal roll. <laughs> <laughs> As you guys are entering this space, yeah. <laughs> First thing I should have done when I got out of, snapped out of it was try and contact back to the regular plane. No, <laughs> Just immediately. no, no. <laughs> I saw that. Yeah. I'm like, uh oh. Uh, I was I was looking at it to see if there was anything I could do, and I accidentally clicked it. Mm. But uh, there's there's nothing you can do. When... You see, uh, next to the bouncer, another uh, large, intimidating um, 
figure appears and right behind him uh, his, a second set of footsteps follow and you see two pieces of what can only be described as suits of armor um, oh. sort of moving forward and as they reach you you see um, these rather large um, let me pull up their description for you all um, here bum, 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 bum. Yeah, there's um, two of them. They step forward, these large um, animated f folks of armor. They're, you see, different than the constructed individuals around you um, as you look inside and just hear the clanking of uh, metal as opposed to the wood that was sort of in the other space. Um, let me... Oh, I see. That's what's going on. Well, that's not it. That was the effect. Oh. Suits of armor. Suits of armor. Nervous. Is the armor also made out of wood, too? Uh, no. Damn. Hmm. <laughs> oh, it's getting I'm more real, and I feel like that's a bad <laughs> sign. <Yeah. laughs> not just made out of pages anymore. Uh, I'm just gonna turn. So off they're here. like, just to be clear, animated suits of armor. Mm -hmm. Okay. There you go. Thank you. Yeah, of course. Boo boo. Real dark. Mm -hmm. I realized that you guys couldn't see anything but the chat cut, and I was like, oh, that's fine. <laughs> Right. Uh, <laughs> they're the important they're people. They're the important people, right? <laughs> Couldn't do this without you. Mm -hmm. I, we could. We totally could. We totally could. <laughs> Full forward. Perfect. Mustard, how many, uh, how many suits of armor are, are you looking You at? see in front of you directly, there's two that have marched forward. But as you're looking around, you see two more down the hall. Oh, and seem to be geez, two please. even on the other side. Um, Can Hopsy Topsy... Uh, do a volley and um, start shooting at him. <laughs> yeah, you de you definitely can. Okay. Um, do you want to? We're gonna roll let's roll initiative. Uh, Where is that? Okay, so um, select your token, and then on your character sheet, um, you go to Hopsy Topsy, and yep. you click initiative. Oh, oh nice! Oh man. Not the worst. <laughs> the first initiative roll. It's uh, I'm... right next to your armor the class tiger. above your current hit points. Oh, got it. Yeah. Well, it was much better. Oop. Mm -hmm. Good job, Harrison. Whoa, Harrison. Hey. Harrison's got the reflexes. Yes. Huh? Let's see. You're not surprising them, I can tell you that much. Um,. So the initiative on three one. Okay. Ooh, Kaylee, you got a twenty one. Well, I technically no, because I I was on the wrong select uh, thing, so I rerolled when I was in the turn tracker. So oh. no, I I got it. No, you. I mean, you, I take the oh. first roll. I I always take the first <laughs> roll with that. So it's, you got a twenty one on that. Um, Harrison, can you select your token and uh, hit the initiative button again so I can edit it? Uh, select my. Well, I just press initiative again. Yeah. And Jericho got eight. And then same thing uh, with you, Erica. Hit it again? Yeah. It just after you selecting your token. What like does click, this Click mean? the little icon on the map. Mm -hmm. That's you. Oh. oh. Thank you. Yeah, like that. Um, a. Nice. Cool. And then uh, uh, Harrison, you had 21 as well for your initiative for the first one. It's very cool. Uh, Kaylee, you had a nat 20, though, so you're going to go first. Um, Jericho got an 8. And then Topsy. I can't select my... I, I don't know which one I am. Oh, you're... Um, this one right here. Let me move it slightly down. Next to oh, thank Daisy. You. Mm -hmm. Oh, thank you. No problem. No problem. And one animated armor. Let me do okay. this one. 
Oh, wow. You guys are very quick on the draw. This is nice. Okay. Um, let me pull up. Sorry. Just double click. Go in here and get the other initiative for this fellow, which is going to be the two initiatives for these were three and two. So they're not, not very, not very quick on the draw. Um, as you guys uh, walk in and you see the bouncer goes, yes, the more the merrier. And the other uh, animated armors goes up and says, error, error, oh. no, no wooden material detected. <laughs> and then as they say that, um, let's go into the turn order. Um, so starting it off, Daisy, you're first to act. What do you want to do? Uh, these guys don't look very nice, do they? Like, look behind me really fast. They're not very nice? Yeah. No. no. Okay, okay. I'm going to rage and um, just run up and <laughs> hit one. Like, stop it. Perfect. <laughs> you go into a rage, rushing forward. Ah! Putting forward uh, to these two individuals that are right up front. Uh, what do you do? As you give me an attack roll. I imagine you're going to attack on them? Yeah, so yeah. I'll just I'll just run up to the closest one and Ooh. just try and just with my great sword heck yeah 16 on the first attack it's armor class ooh is an 18 it's a, you reach up to a swing attack King. it blings it bounces right off uh, wait are you raging so don't you you may attack with advantage right no that's only if I'm reckless attacking gotcha, gotcha, um, gotcha. so okay. but I do believe I have two attacks so I'm yeah. gonna try I'm gonna try and get Ugh. oh they're not wood they're made of metal uh -huh. was, no I don't like it try again that's worse. Worse. As you reach <laughs> up, your, you swing your great target, ing, and this one just kind of actually just like, boom, box its attack uh, from its hand as it stands in front of you. I don't like these guys. There's not much else available to me. Uh, so I will just stand at the ready just in case some somebody else comes to hit any of my friends. Mm-hmm. Uh, moving right along, we're going to go right up next to Haku. What do you do? Well, Haku would like to jump, do a somersault up in the air. And are there any vents <laughs> up in this uh, place here? Uh, as you look around, you, um, from the main entrance, as sort of you're walking in, not really. There's not sort of, oh, I'm uh, also in the wrong space. Let me pull this out for you. I had us. Because I want to sneak attack. You want to sneak attack. Yeah, absolutely. Sneak attack. Uh, you actually, so you guys are right here. Let me pull you all folks into this space. Um, you could see uh, that you could try, if you use your bonus action, you could hide and make a stealth roll on that uh, 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 to then try to attack them. Yes, yeah. I would like to do that. Yeah. So I just, I do stealth, right? Yeah, just give me a stealth roll. Oh, it's a 20. Uh, okay, yeah, you Ooh. in a, a poof of vanish or disappear <laughs> into the shadows. Um, so you and still have your full movement. You can uh, you, uh, So as you're entering, you see uh, Daisy sort of pulled forward to attack these two. Um, what do you want? You're, you're in the back of the group right here. Um, you're in this sort of uh, front area of the map. All right. Mm -hmm. I'm in the front area of the map, mm -hmm. uh, so I'm not near them. Is it, uh, can I uh, shoot some uh, poison out of my mouth? Uh, yeah, absolutely. Uh, do you want to, oh. if you, if, if with your sneak attack, it might be better to attack, uh, it might like do a physical Ooh. attack, because I think. Okay, yeah. all right. Uh, I guess I will do a, a physical attack then uh -huh. with my, ooh, mm, uh, my, my uh, rapier. Nice. Let your long blade ready itself. It's your weapon proficiency. Yeah. It's your weapon proficiency. Um. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, that's right. Hold on. So in in your attacks and spell casting in the center, right underneath hit dice, the thing that says name, that's what you click. Uh, spell. Cast. Oh, and you'd also <laughs> want to um click your since you're doing sneak attack, you're gonna click this. Sneak attack first. Oh. Uh -huh. 
Ooh, you gotta. Well, you you're, you're sneaking. You are definitely sneaking. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm, st- I, I, yeah. I'm still sneaking. I got you. I, uh, so no, that's right. No, I want to use my dagger. I got. I I well, I rolled for. I can roll for the dagger. I rolled that's for the rapier. Roll. You got I a twenty. No, I rapier rapier. Sorry, I'm. <laughs> You, it's you been think. a while since I've been fighting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and so you, I've the sneak attack already selected because you uh, pop out of the shadow and you like, ha, like get your blade in between um, the connecting joints of this animated armor right in front of Daisy. Um, and so click rate, uh, click rate, well click rate career. So you do twenty five points of damage as you um, get your knife in there and sort of twist. And you watch uh, this animated armor. One of the legs completely just like falls to the ground as the uh, one of the left arms also as it's sort of hobbling in front, um, barely sort of. Uh, you did a lot to this guy, um, but yeah, that was tight. Nice, nice. Yeah, Haku, where the heck did you come from? You just disappeared in a little ball and then you're stabbing. Mm-hmm. Whoa! You can't see me. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! Well, where did I come from? <laughs> Say you you pop up right behind them there. Perfect. Uh, let's move right along to Hopsy Topsy. What do you do next? Hopsy Topsy. She's gonna she's gonna attack with her short sword. Mm-hmm. Let me roll. Nice. Oh heck yeah! Hey, do you want to attack bad. the one that um what's it called uh that? Yeah, uh, I want to stick to the same one. Cool, cool, cool. Um, so roll damage on that. Him again. All you do is uh, click the short sword in the chat, the the word short sword, uh, in, and you'll get it, and it'll give us damage seven damage. Hey, you, hey. um, do you want to actually? I know this is the first time you're playing a ranger. Do you want to? Do you want to do um your say you did your bonus action to put hunter's mark on this guy? Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Awesome. Absolutely. And then uh, so you do an additional uh, a d six of damage. So um let's roll oh. a d six to add on it. You needed one. He had eight hit points, and I, I just, I just wanted you to like get there. <laughs> and he's dead. You, you, Thank you're you. able to slash the, the sword as you come across, and he <clears throat> falls apart, uh, clinging and clanging. Boom! You destroy one of these animated suits of armor. Dun dun yes. dun. Hell yeah! Haku, give yeah. me a high five. We did Topsy it. Topsy. We did it better, yes. buddy. Boom. I wish I was more helpful, but you guys are super impressive. <laughs> Uh, moving you, right along, right. Jericho, you're up next. There's one left, right? Yeah. In this room? There's one left. Let me hit it with the dispel. It's a magical suit of armor. I'm going to dispel the spell yeah. that's holding a suit of armor that's animating it. Hit it with the dispel magic. Uh, and uh, you, what's it called? Let me read something about this really fast. Um, as you, you read it perfectly. This is a... Um, Anti, this is a animated suit of armor. It's literally just magic that the spirits of Candlekeep put together. If you um, targeted by, uh, well, what's it called? As you cast um, dispel magic on it, um, you see it's hit inside of an anti magic field. So um, you have to uh, make a Constitution save against the. Uh, uh, it has to make a constitution saving throw against your spell um, or fall unconscious for a minute. So um, it's going to make a constitution save. Ooh, it oh. makes it. it. It needed to beat a 15. So it, it was going to be triggers. so awesome. It was going to fall apart. It, it was going to fall apart uh. for you, but you read it perfectly. This is just a magical creature put together as it uh, stumbles and then falls. Um, you still have your bonus action. Do you want to do any movement while you're uh, going about? Uh, yeah, I want to move backwards <laughs> okay okay you uh move yourself into the corner putting as much distance as you can from this thing uh, yeah while holding up my magical hand <laughs> your magical hand after you just cast it <laughs> this uh animated armor is gonna go um and it is going to attack the last thing the thing that just um destroyed its buddy um and so it's going to attack uh hopsy it's going to make a um uh-uh gonna make one attack on you um let's see oh two melee attacks so it makes it it tries to slam you it gets an eight what's your armor class um, it's probably 13. yeah so it, it it doesn't it's not able to and then daisy is gonna <laughs> reach for you and gets a natural 20 oh, uh, oh, as no. it goes uh, and like gets out of the way and it um does 14 points of bludgeoning damage to you Oof. 
as it swings Daisy. one way um, as uh, Popsy ducks underneath, and then it brings its left arm and poof, just clocks you across. Um, but that's ha- you're raging, so that's halved because it's just bludgeoning damage. Um, mm-hmm. So you only take seven. And then we're back at the top of the order. It's your turn. What do you want to do? I mean, this is not nice. <laughs> Why though? Go <laughs> get ah there! Just, <laughs> just let me hit you. <laughs> Ooh, perfect! You get one as you try to get it. It misses as you get your second one. You lift it up and bang it across the head, doing ten points of damage to it, taking quite a big chunk out of its health. Well done. Does that add my rage damage? No, eh? No, 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 no. Actually, yeah. So you should. Um, I think you have to click uh, to uh, add rage. There, I, I, I added it. Three, so, okay, cool. 13, you you do 13 it damage. It's quite a bit of damage to it. Um, as it you get clings, him, Daisy. It's still ah! uh, ringing a little bit. Um, moving right along, Haku, you're up next. All right, so is this thing is still alive. Yeah, the, the other one in front of you right here is still alive. Mm. Okay, well, I would like to sneak again. Surprise, surprise. Uh-huh. Um... Give me another stealth. <laughs> it, it, uh, because of your ability, if you haven't moved... You get you get to do with advantage. Okay. Uh huh. Another stealth so... check. So. Ooh, it's a nat twenty. We you sneak around. Nice. Nice. Well oh, done, dude. You are rolling like crazy. It's very good. You're you're in oh, the shadows. Probably. You disappeared. Um, disappeared. Yeah. Yeah. What are you, are you gonna make another attack? Uh yes. Um, okay. I mean to be honest, I'd like to uh, spit the poison in my mouth into my hand <laughs> and throw it at the at the suit of armor. Can I do that? You can absolutely do that. So as from uh, you know what, I'll even let you do this. I'll let you. Uh, so That's you what can Haku keep... is. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'll, I'll 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 let you um, do that first, and then you could hide it afterwards because uh, your breath weapon doesn't get sneak attack bonus. Um, oh no! So okay. you, um, as you're seeing, you're looking directly at it. Um, you're gonna roll two. It's gonna roll a Constitution modifier. The DC equals eight plus your Constitution modifier plus your proficiency bonus. So this is eight. Your Constitution modifier is one. So nine. Your proficiency bonus is four. Thirteen. Okay. So it needs to beat a. Uh, cons- uh, it needs to make a Constitution saving throw and beat a thirteen. Cool. Okay, what do I roll? You don't roll anything yet. It's gonna. I see, don't. You okay. don't roll. Oh, actually, I think you roll like two d six in a moment. But um, okay, let's see. It fails. Nice. Damn. Um, so that's good. No, no, you do damage to it. Um, okay. I roll two d six. Let me double check your breath weapon. Yeah, you roll two d six. Oh, actually, no. Eleventh level uh, is four d six. So roll an, an additional two. Roll an additional two. Okay. Yeah, no, uh, two more d six. Nice. You do 18 points of damage to it as you kiss, spit this acid on it. Well wow. done. Wow. Uh, Haku, Haku's MVP today. Yeah. yeah. And it's, uh, wait, it's, what is it, poison or acid? Your breath's wet. It's poison, I think. Oh, I'm so sorry. It is oh, immune no. to poison. It, as you spit <laughs> this acid, you... Wait, d- double check that. <laughs> well, uh, sorry. Just, I'm... just double check. If you're, if <laughs> My you're... negative one intelligence <laughs> makes me <laughs> not the best decision maker sometimes. You, like, spit out this massive yeah, ball poison. of poison, and you, like, throw it at it, and it eats away. Ah! It rattles, and then it's like, it just kind of shakes itself off. Um, and then we watch you. How do you then get a perfect nat twenty on your sneak out of this scenario? How do you sneak out of <laughs> this moment? He's so embarrassed. Nope. Uh, <laughs> I, I think. Uh, I think I left my door. He walks behind a couch <laughs> and does this. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, I do that. And, and then, you're gone. Don't <laughs> mind me. <laughs> Uh, awesome. Erica, you're up next. What does Hopsy do? Hopsy's gonna do the same thing she did last time. Heck yeah. Um, should I do the, um, uh, favorite enemy again? What's that what it's called? Uh, uh, Hunter's Mark. Hunter's Mark, mm-hmm. yeah. So I'll click that. Mm-hmm. So that's, uh, then... that's your, just your bonus action. So you got that. And then I'm gonna attack with the short sword yes. again. Heck yeah. Uh, 
11 to hit. Uh, 11 does not hit, unfortunately. As you ah. uh, move your sword, ksh, it bounces off. Clang. Um, you get another attack, though, because you are a high enough level. So if you want to make another attack with your short sword, go for it. Heck yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's okay. a 21. Definitely hits. Nice. Roll damage on that. Six. Okay. Uh, and you had six earlier from the Hunter's Mark. So you do 12 damage as you sling across. Um, this. Uh, you are guys are chewing up this animated piece of armor. You've really um, decimated a lot of its health. Uh, it is not dead yet, but it is getting there. Um, cool. Uh, moving right along, that is you, Jericho. All right, uh, redemption time. I'm hit it with the old <laughs> Eldritch Blast uh, cantrip. Heck yeah. Which at this level, I have three attack rolls for. Ooh, very nice. nice. Um, so I roll a uh, range spell dam, rage spell attack. Mm -hmm. So give me, uh, uh, I think it's a d20 plus your uh, spell casting modifier. Where's my spellcaster? My fire. Oh, it actually might be in one of your attacks. Um, because I think roll twenty makes it super simple. Um, yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. Roll it's, twenty. So awesome. Roll twenty. It's such an intuitive uh, interface. Um, yeah. It, it's should be. Let's see. Hellish rebuke isn't. No, that's not hellish rebuke. No. Um, no, that's a spell. Let me look at your spells. Do you have? You have elder spells. Oh, I think you just click elder spells. Can you just click on it in the chat? I think oh. that's it. Okay. Yeah. Just click on the spell. Uh, mm. Mm. You are range the... spell attack. Mm. Um. Well, we can just do it. Um, let me look at your spells. Your spell attack bonus is an eight, so roll me a d twenty plus eight. That's it. Okay. What'd you get? Ooh, a twenty six. Oh, you definitely hey. hit. Um, okay. And for your uh, how much damage does it do on? It's 1d10 force damage. So the I got a 26, a 12, and a 24. So that's two of them hit. Roll me two d10s. Okay. Oh, sorry. Wait. Sorry. I didn't I put a space. Yeah. There you go. Okay, so you do 16 damage to it. As you... Uh, what does your uh, magic look like? Is it just fireballs? It's uh, one of these, and then uh, it's, it's three... Um, greenish blasts of uh flame but they don't burn because it's like eldritch flame it's not real yeah yeah, not yeah. Real absolutely but um but yeah he says uh from whence he came be gone and you go and you go well you, you shoot off one from one finger um the one in the middle misses, in the and the other one, <laughs> the, well, the, the two from your fingers actually arc down and collapse in on it, and, and it, the the fire actually, sh you see it set, uh, melt and fall to the ground, and you see the wooden construct bouncer that was outside says, well, the more the merrier, and turns back um, and looks at the entrance. As you begin to hear um, some footsteps from outside, you all, you solve this combat encounter. Ba -na 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 Look at that. Um, Shout out to our donator who gave us that one. <laughs> added hey, an extra animated arm armor to that fight. Um, Was that suit suit? No, that's me. I'm 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 sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, heck yeah. Um as we're moving forward, we're gonna uh you guys are in the manner you're in this drawing room now i think it's the first time you're actually getting a sense of the space as you're um exploring it um let me pull up a little bit of information for you also i can provide it to you um as you have made you're in the um front room and as you enter you see uh the door in front of you is locked um the bouncer let you into this in source space but being the way that it is, whoever actually set up this party. Um, this has been going on by wooden construct. They're sort of operating on a system. Um, it doesn't even look like Josephs and Henrietta walked into the party. They sort of went to the door, turned around, and walked back. They're sort of operating on their own sort of loop system. And it seems in this place, as you're like, you're in a room that leads in but isn't allowing you to go any for further unless you figure out a way past this uh, front door. 
Hey, Haku, ain't you a thief? Why, yes, I am. So you should know a little something about a locked door, right? <laughs> I think I know a thing or two, and I hold up a bunch of, like, lock picks. Mm -hmm. um, I would like to, I'm going to pick this lock then. Hell yeah. Um, yeah. Anyone can, while you uh, give me a, a sleight of hand check to try and pick that lock. Sleight of hand. It should be one of your skills. Yeah. Oh, it's a 21. Um, you get right away to it. You begin to click in a way and sort of looking around. Um, what's it called? Uh, as they're doing that, um, does anyone want to give me a perception check um, around this room that you're in? Sure. 17. Oh, terrific. Um, you're looking around and you're walking into this lounge and sort of appreciating it for what it is now that you've got a moment. It's got marble walls. Um, the, the It's beautiful and spacious. Uh, it has a smell of wood and, and smoke. Um, the furniture is pretty lush and inviting with chairs and couches that are sort of arranged for conversations. There is a large painting of a forest on the back wall and a fireplace that's uh, sort of crinkling with a little bit of uh, sort of fire from the east wall. Above the mantle hangs a painting of two finger, uh, figures. One of them has uh, had her face scratched over with ink. Because you beat a 15, you recognize that the figure um, that is standing there is a younger quill, not, not the defaced, the original one. The one who has been defaced is actually a younger Rilia Micton, the person who gave you your charge. It seemed like something happened between them earlier that led to a bit of a disagreement between them. Um, a bit of a disagreement? Mm -hmm. Oh, no, that doesn't look very nice. I even keep the picture up if you're just going to have someone's face scratched out. Switch it out for something else. Do you think... Do you, do you think that she wants to save her friend and that's why she sent us in, but then he's mad at her? Is that is that part of the corruption, is he thinks that she betrayed him? And so he scratched her face out? That could be it. That but could if they be have it. such a bad relationship, I'm worried that the thing we've got with us is a dagger. I know. What does she want us hey. to do with it? We got a job. And right, right, right. 5,000 yeah, gold. That, we got 5,000 gold. 5,000 gold. 5, okay. Five thousand gold. Five thousand gold. Five thousand gold. As you guys are um, walking around, one second. I just need to find a very particular, very particular individual. Um, you hear um, someone shouting. Is everyone having a good time? Everyone's having fun, right? This is a blast. Everyone's having fun at my party, right? Um, and everyone goes, uh, yes, 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 yes. Everyone's having a blast as um, I will find. It's be much more intimidating. I know where I know it's here. Let's see. Ah, here it is. Um, bum, 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 bum. A... Um, you guys, uh, as you creak open the door and see a massive beholder, a oh! object made of eyes standing in oh, front of you. Um, it usually one glance at a beholder is enough to know that it is bad news bears. These things are terrifying um this one as it floats around clearly has made this place its home somehow in some way it's gained access to this place you don't really know how it appeared but you hear um this thing walk around and go yes everyone enjoy rencor's party you having fun and he points to the wooden constructs they nod their hair extremely good good everyone has fun nothing is a matter here everything is perfect Beholders are... They don't speak English usually, right? They're particular. Um, they speak, speak common. <laughs> yeah, they speak common. Um, they usually are pretty persnickety and like things to be in a certain way. 
Uh, and it Vergas. seems like Rencor wants to make sure that this party stays exactly the way it's going. Um, and with that, we're coming to our break point. Um, we're going to go to break. We're going to be back in about like five to ten minutes. A quick bio. Folks, don't go anywhere. Please hang out, stay, uh, donate if you can. And we'll be right back in just a moment with a curious tale of Wisteria Vale here on Roll20 for Hate is a Virus. See you in a minute. Bye. 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 And we're What's back. Up? What's hey. up? What's up? What's hey. up? It's a curious tale of Wisteria Vale with Sir Friday Night special guest Kaylee Bray. Jeez. We're so excited to be back. Uh, thank you all for coming and hanging out. We're going to get right back into things. Um, uh, in case you didn't know, this is a charity stream. Feel free to donate as things have been going on. Um, it's been a wonderful time and a kooky adventure for our gang. Uh, last they let off, they had already made their way inside the manor, making their way past the first two difficult uh people in their way a mini boss of sorts to um actually yeah, if you want to see us take on another mini boss yeah. hit us with a hot 50 in the hot fi- well, no they've actually made it to 100 which means um i gotta Ooh. do an improv song recap that's what the hundred <laughs> yeah. dollar take was, your money I back to, <laughs> to, we started at 650 we're at 750 i have to do uh oh no no we started at 680 oh never mind i'm oh, safe i got right. 30 30 okay. dollars away from doing a recap and improv song. somebody put 30 dollars. you heard him chat yeah, yeah. Oh. i really regret this i really regret this now yeah, chat 30 bucks uh, for musical improv which everyone knows is the funniest oh thing the, the best <laughs> yeah uh so when y'all can pretend to do it be keys for me um i'll be the guy in the back of the acapella group going do 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 <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. um but speaking of things that seem like a drag uh let's go into this forced party um uh, let's talk about what you guys are doing uh in this space you guys just watched this massive uh creature this beholder named rencor uh rencor uh float through the hallway and then disappear Um, as they were uh, exploring their party, making sure all the folks in it were having a good time. Um, Moving uh, as they passed, floating their way upstairs, you all um, are, it's free to you all. What do you all want to do? Um, I speak deep speech, which is the language of the beholders. Mm. Um, Because Jericho Laws Bane is uh <laughs> is a <laughs> is a warlock who knows the secrets of the darkness okay. um so i would like to call after him in deep speech and be like hey buddy you better explain what's going on here uh because i've never seen a beholder speak common and i've never seen a beholder do this um and that comes out to everybody else as like <laughs> Oh, oh, he did the shoot. It happened to him again. Oh no! We have oh, to heal. Did you no, 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 no! I'm again? speaking. I'm speaking a different language. Oh, <laughs> oh, okay. Was that not I what you were brain. doing before? Um. So as you begin to uh, bellow after this, uh, the beholder that was making its way into the ballroom um, where it was situating it. Here's someone speaking its natural tongue and turns around, wide-eyed, and says. No, 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 no! I, I don't. I haven't heard that in a while. No, 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 no! No one speaks that tongue here. We are safe in my home of Wisteria Vale for two weeks. This is where I live. This is where I exist. Who dares threaten my peace? Um, as he pops out and begin to look at uh, Jericho Laws Bane. What do you say to it? Say, I'm Jericho Laws Bane. I'm the outlaw warlock wanted in every province this side of uh, of Baldur's Gate, and I don't like rules or the law. It seems like you make the rules around here, Bucko. <laughs> Die! Uh, roll initiative. It Whoa, hates okay. that you're here. It really like it is what really thought it was safe. Uh, Oops, I did it again. Oh, I'm sorry. I gotta put. I let me get the turn. I rolled, a, there. I rolled a goose egg. You rolled a goose egg. <laughs> Terrific. Oh, no. Did it? Okay. 
You ever you ever show a threat to you like, hey guys, you got to be sneaky. You don't want to you don't want to like yeah. alert this thing this that's is like a... highly paranoid and nervous. I like and this. You're this like, hey, yeah, you're like, way to go, like, man. Let's, let's pull the crap most to a paranoid team. thing in the room and go, hey, I see you. <laughs> I'm out to get you, just so you know, bud. I talked crap to it and then rolled horribly for initiative, which I assume means I was trying to pull out my dagger and I'm like juggling it. <laughs> uh, heck yeah. Oh, uh. All we have left uh, is we're just move. I'm gonna move everyone into this space. Um, I also because it's got two animated armors guards that were here oh, protecting great. its place. I gotta do these guys too. Um, uh, Erica, can you select Hopsy yeah. and give me that initiative again? Oh yeah, yeah. Let me do that. No worries. It's okay. All of the uh, the people that you guys are going against are rolling terribly. So. Um, <sighs> about them i've uh rolled terribly a bunch of times in a row so that must mean my next roll <laughs> nat 20 baby right <laughs> i wish that was the way it worked uh-huh cool hopsy uh did you have an 18 oh yeah that you, you just got it cool 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 okay bum, 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 bum. okay so you're probably gonna go first that'll be haku and then daisy and then the animated armors and then oh, there's more of them. That's the, the beholder, Great. and then <laughs> another animated armor, and then Jericho. Cool, uh, Hopsy. What do you do? You also, uh, like, I don't know if um, what's it called. Uh, ben told you this, but your character sheet. You were using your short sword. You're also pretty good with a bow. Um, yeah, let me do. I was gonna do that this time. Yeah, yeah. You have um, those eyes. It says here I can use my action to make a ranged attack mm -hmm. on any number of creatures. Can I just? Hit them all. Yeah, because yeah, you, you have a volley. volley, and you yeah. have because you currently have twenty arrows. I mean, we'll keep track of it only in like in fights. I'm gonna say after a fight, you collect okay. all your arrows just so you we can know how many times you can volley. Um, so in the space, okay, you want to so volley. I'm gonna do a pew pew pew. Yeah, exactly, and you're gonna get all do, three of them. You're gonna hit all of them. Yeah, uh, yeah. give me. You make an attack roll for each of them. Okay. Uh, so that's do you want a hunter's mark? Oh yeah, I'm gonna hunter's mark as well. Nice. And I can just do that every single time on your bonus action. Yep. What a I think you have a okay. limited number. I'm not. Let me double check. I think it's a spell, so you use a spell slot for it. But you gotcha. don't. Or let me l double check your character sheet. Um, player characters, hopsy topsy. Character sheet. Spells. Yeah, it's a. It's a. So you used it twice now. So you've got two left. Okay. I think it's a good time to use it. There you go. That's fair. Um. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let me. Uh. Let me roll for this longbow. Yeah. Oh, a 20 Ooh. is a hit. Oh, okay. there you go. Do you Jeez. want that on the... Well, it'll hit all three of them. So which one do you want to aim for first? Oh, um, I mean, now that we know it's a 20, I want it to be the beholder. But if you wanted to make it a like left to right situation, I think that'd be fair as GM. Okay. All right. Well, since we already know. Since we already know. Yeah. I would think as Hopsy, what what would you... How would Hopsy... Would you aim for the, the biggest target or would you go foo -foo, like a cross? Like kind of like you were doing a spread. Well, Hopsy, growing up in the Texas Hill Country... <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, my the old Texas Hill Country of water. <laughs> yeah. Yep. My my daddy always taught me to uh, go for the troublemakers first. So okay. I'm going to hit that beholder. Heck yeah. All right. So uh, you roll uh, a 20. You do <laughs> nine damage to it on, on this one. Um, you can uh, roll uh, as it shrieks as you uh, pierce it. Um, Give me, uh, yeah, give me uh, yeah. Give me two more rolls. Oh, a twenty-six. A twenty-six. So which one Jeez, of these animated geez. armors get hit with this natural twenty? Uh, let's hit the uh the one on the right. The one on the right. This one right here. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah. Um, roll damage on that. So that is nine oh. damage on this one <laughs> as you pierce into it. Um, nice. And then let me roll one more time. One more time. 18. 18 exactly hits on this one. Roll damage. Okay, wow. Well done. As you spread, we see Hopsy uh, pulls in and goes, whoop, whoop, whoop. These, you just hear the bow snap real fast as 
you see one eye get stabbed really fast from the uh, beholster ah! as it's uh, many stalks of multiple eyes that are looking at you screech in pain. The animated armor gets hit in right in the corner of one of its uh, joints and it begins to like stiffen as it tries to stumble towards you all as the other one gets glanced across by an, an arrow. Um, perfect. Do you want to... Oh, you know what Hopsy does right after that? Mm-hmm. She grabs one of her beers, homebrew, pops the top off, chugs it, tosses it in the air, and shoots that too. You know what's crazy? You do have an extra attack. That was like your first attack. <laughs> so if you want to use your second attack on like... Just, just like, to waste it just... for style points? Yes, I do. I do. <laughs> Perfect, perfect. Give me a tack roll on. I just roll, give me a roll twenty. Give me a, a roll twenty on this. A, a roll a d twenty. Uh, wait, wait. Where's my screen? Hold on. Mm-hmm. Where did I put the slash at the beginning? Mm-hmm. Nope. What is it? Do I need a space? There we go. Mm, you got it. Slash roll space one d twenty. Oh, you got a 10. Um, you miss. No! No! <laughs> Should have chugged that beer before I shot it. Oops. <laughs> it would have had a better way. Um, but that's, I guess that's your turn. Do you want to move around or do anything else? Uh, no, I'll stay here in case we keep fighting. Heck yeah. Cool, cool, cool. Um, then uh, moving up next is Haku. What do you want to do, bud? Oh man! Uh, wow, that's a that's a scary that's a scary monster. There, I'm going to hide again. Okay, uh, I'm gonna hide. Sneak attack. <laughs> give, give me, sneak attack with sneaky, uh, sneaky. my sneaky sneaky with my rapier. Okay, okay. you make make a hide. You uh, that's that's you just attacked. But first, you got to. Uh, oh crap! Roll. I mean, that's cool. That's cool. Let's uh, try and hide first. Give me a stealth roll. Oh, so in oh, your um, stealth, yeah. stealth. Okay, it's in your ability. Stealth. Ooh, a 22. Perfect. So you vanish. You hit with the 19. Um, Let's, do you have a sneak attack uh, selected in your, right? That's Yes. Yeah. So click on the rapier. Let's see how much damage you do. Click on the rapier. Ooh, you do 27 damage to this rancor as it, you, um, we watch Haku disappear, quietly move, bump, 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 behind it. Get up right next to it. <laughs> ah, stag. Um, and it does. You you did twenty seven points of damage. My goodness. Dang, Haku. Very good. I just an OP, dude. Okay. Um, but I mean, it's crazy. Is you're all get you're all hitting above eighteen. Like it's it's armor class isn't low either. That's that's what's getting me. Um. All right, cool. And that's your bonus action, your movement. Um, you're right in front of it, but uh, right next to it. But that is your turn. Um, moving right on, it is Daisy. What do you want to do? Okay. Um, this one looks really not nice. So, um, I'm gonna go into a frenzied rage uh, and just charge towards towards the sky and try and hit him with my great sword. Uh, try and hit him with my great sword. Nope. <laughs> As you as you try to get it, its uh, eyes are like kind of slapping you in the face, get, keeping you from getting in the space. <laughs> uh, no, get away from me! Ah! No, 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 be nicer than why? Uh. Ah, you're ruining my party! As no, it shouts, you're, you have a bad party. <gasps> it looks incensed that you would ever say it would host a bad party. Um, at it's going to use sorry, one of its that? legendary actions at the <gasps> end of your turn um, to choose a random eye ray. Roll a d10 Incredible. for me. Incredible. Yeah. Love love that for me. <laughs> oh, Daisy. You got a five. Oh, uh, no. Oh, no. Okay. It shoots you with a innervation ray. Um, you must make a constitution saving throw, a DC 16. That's okay. I can do this. I can, can do, do it. this. You can do it. You got this. Oh, yeah! Beats it. Beats it. Well Beats done. It. Uh, nice. So wow. you, instead of taking, um, let's go. I got. I got to put this in the chat. So it's gonna roll. You're gonna take half damage on this. Great. Cool. Uh, slash roll. Eight d eight. Yeah, love that. Love that. Love uh, you take twenty two points of damage. 
um, as it tries oh, to, necrotic damage as it hits you <laughs> with literally Dude. its closest thing to a death ray. I'm like, as you Sorry, I got us in this fight. <laughs> you watch a Daisy. You watch Daisy literal youth dissipate away as they age <laughs> in front of you. Um, as their cells are just dying. Um, what do you want to do? You you have your movement left. Uh, you you can. I'm angry, and I'm the one that should be taking those hits, so I'm not going anywhere. I'm just going to be like, and you think that made your party better? Whoa! Oh, 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 where's the bouncer? Ah! <laughs> it shouts. <laughs> <laughs> Moving right along, uh, it's one of the animated armors. Um, this one that got uh, hit by uh, Hopsy is going to uh, m- close distance with uh, and try to attack hopsy because it hit it with an arrow so um daisy you actually get an opportunity attack if you want to take it as it passes you oh that's me uh i'm daisy sorry i got hit with a lot of damage and had to math Uh, (laughs) minus one intelligence yeah opportunity attack baby you miss uh as it sort of slinks on uh past you moving right next to uh daisy and it's um going to on make an attack on daisy on oh no sorry sorry on uh hopsy thank you um first attack is a 23 does that hit second Uh, attack is a 13 oh is it 13 so both attacks hit it does four and then it does three damage as it literally just like picks you up and bam bam slams you onto the ground um I hate it when people pick me up. <laughs> people are always trying to do that just because I'm a door. Quit picking me up. It's not cute. Uh, moving right along, that's the first animated armor that's going to enter. Now it's going to be Ren uh, Rencor's turn. Reniker. Oh, as it um, so. moves forward, as it sees you all, it's going to um, let's see how many how many. It's going to. Um, look and um see you right there um haku and it's gonna make a bite attack on you no Ah, it gets an 18 ah. does an 18 hit Ah. i believe it does right yeah i think an 18 hits. let's see let's see what your our armor class is it's a 13 and 18 definitely hits uh buddy and it does 19 plus 14 um so i really should have picked a fight with this beholder (laughs) 33 (laughs) yeah it it does i could have snuck around um (laughs) so you can use your reaction to uncanny dodge if you want to you could try yeah so uh if you uncanny dodge instead of doing 33 you do half of that rounded down um, so you do 16 points of damage as it, um, it takes its, the thing is it's other eye stalks don't have any teeth on it, but the one at its center just reads up and sees you after you, you also slashed it for like 30 plus point, like 20 plus points of damage. Like you did a lot of damage to it. It's mad at you. It turns, ah, takes a big old bite of uh, lizard, fu- uh, your dragonborn uh, flesh, enjoys it, ah. and, and then spits you across. Uh, and that will be its turn. Um, cool. Guys, I live for excitement. He clearly. <laughs> clearly. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you speak mo- gibberish in the beginning, and now you pick a fight with the yeah, boss. I've done nothing but, like, mess up yeah. as this um this <laughs> other uh animated armor is going to move forward and uh get in a daisy's face well actually it's going to go after um hopsy because you um slugged it with uh an arrow as well so it's going to make a slam attack on you bum, bum, bum. one so 12 doesn't hit but 21 hit. does hit Ooh. does six on this one is this one just uh as you're just picking yourself from the other one it just comes and just punches you uh across Ow. really far uh, i know i said don't pick me up but i also hate getting punched in the face moving on it is jericho's turn what do you do um 
Nothing's attacked me yet, so I'm going to. <laughs> yeah, your, your uh, friends drew all the attention. Like, you like shot uh, the beehive and then ran uh, away. Yeah, well, <laughs> I'm still standing there. I, I'll uh, I'll hit him with an uh, I'll hit the beholder with uh, an eldritch blast. Heck yeah. Um, which at this level, as we did before, you get three, right? I get three, so I gotta roll three d twenty plus eight. Mm -hmm. Wait, do you? Uh, is it? A D20 plus 8. Nice. First one's an 18. Hits. Mm -hmm. Third, 18, 17, 18. That was nice roll. Nice. Well done. Well, the 17 doesn't uh, hit, but the two 18s mm -hmm. do. Um, okay. And so you whew, roll me two D10s. Nice. Nice. So you do 11 damage to it as you, boom, things, uh, the, what's it called? Um, two more Eldritch Blasts. It it's weighs. the same one that, that always goes into the ceiling. <laughs> <laughs> the same one always misses as the other two. It's actually the middle one again. Yeah, so the other yeah. two hit. Uh, it just, ah, and it turns at you um, and it says, you, you brought this nuisance into my home. Um, and it's going to mm, use one of its uh, legendary actions to uh, hit you with a uh, eye ray. Roll me a D10. Oh, actually, um, ro yeah, roll me a d10. Uh, you got an eight on that. It's gonna hit you with a petr uh, petrification ray. Um, oh, no. You have, give me a dexterity saving throw. Sheesh. I'll put that in the chat so if, you, if folks can read it. You got an 11, um, you not particularly dexterous, my friend. You're not particularly dexterous. And I don't do my moment, stretches in the morning. It feel you feel it even more as it hits you with one of its. It hits you with one of its eyes, and uh, 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 you start to turn to stone as you petrify before your friend's eyes. Uh, you can repeat the saving throw at the at the end of the next turn. At the end of its next turn, your next turn, on a success, the effect ends on a failure. You will be a statue. Um, Good thing I'm going to get a success. <laughs> we can't drag you around this whole campaign. <laughs> Whatever, Masood will say there's another guy that just shows up. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I'll be that kind of a GM. I don't know if I, your luck's going to no. run out that this This was a, a, a situation of your own doing. Um, moving right along. Hopsy, Why did you up call next. attention like the other to one? it? Yeah. <laughs> I was like just trying one. to hate on it. My character's a hater. <laughs> <laughs> You're about to be a statue of a hater. Yeah. We're not playing monster. <laughs> statue <we're> playing. <laughs> uh, Hopsy, what do you want to do? You've got uh, these two uh, armors in front of you, and uh, it's right. It, it is ready. Um, you've got Renicor behind uh, Daisy and next to Haku. Uh, let's see. I'll um, I'll. Can I use my longbow uh, short range like this? Um. Yeah, I think it's a disadvantage. You can, if you can try to put like ten feet between them, you can definitely uh, give it a shot. Um, Maybe I'll just I'll get stabby. I'm gonna use my dagger. Okay. Um. Yeah. So I'm gonna attack the um the armor guy. The this one that you uh, you hit for a lot more damage than you did this one. If that makes any sense. Yeah, I want I want the one who's like closer to dying. Cool. Get that kill. Give, give me give me an attack roll. Oh, 25. Ooh, really? Okay. Erica, you've been rolling very well. Uh, roll damage on it. Your dagger. Less to be rolling. Ooh, seven, uh, six damage as you cut across uh, this thing's... Uh, you hear the binding start to snap in its armor as you find... Your knife finds purchase on the few bits that aren't metal. The leather snaps, the joint works that actually connect the armor as it begins to fall apart um, in front of you. Um, but it is still alive. It is still clinging on in its best ability. Um, up next is... Wait, can she razz Jericho real quick? Jericho, didn't you try to do a dismantle this spell earlier and it just failed? <laughs> try the old-fashioned way next time with the dagger. He manually <laughs> opens his jaw to say, <laughs> screw you. <laughs> <laughs> you got another attack, though, uh, Erica, if you want to try uh, making another one. Yeah, yeah. Can I hit the same guy? Yeah, absolutely. All right, let's do this again with the dagger. Wow! Ooh! 
Ooh. That's a natural Nine. 20. Get Roll damage on this. Ooh. It's a six damage. Nice stab. Right. You get it you get it across. Ooh, this one's looking really messed up. You, uh, It is getting close to its um, uh, last legs as you're just putting a, your knife into it over and over again, um, creating puncture wounds in the actual metal because of how uh, the point of the actual dagger is. Um, moving right. Do you want to move? Do you want to do any bonus action stuff? Um, what are my bonus actions? Let's see. Um, you can cast Hunter's Mark, and I think you have, uh, you, I mean, your other spell, I don't know how helpful it is right now. Um. Yeah. No, it's not. Mm -hmm. Um, let me, uh, let me move toward the, um, the Beholder and help out Daisy. Okay. So is you, uh, gonna try and get past these two and, and get closer to Daisy. One of them um, is going to get a... Well, both of them will get opportunity attacks. Is that okay? That's fine, but opportunity attacks against me are made with disadvantage. Oh! You sneaky, <laughs> sneaky. I, I like that. I like that. Okay. Nice, Erica. Uh, well done. Character sheet. Um, let's pull this up and go slam. This is made with disadvantage. An 11 doesn't get you. A 16 does, though. The other one is able to, to hit you for four damage as it knocks you um, a little bit as the other ones are moving. Ow! Cool. Ooh. But you're, you're Bye, able Hatsy. to get out of their space and move right up next to Daisy, right in front of this beholder. Uh, moving right along, it's Haku's turn. Haku, you just got a literal chunk of you just bit out. What do you want to do? <laughs> Ah, um, I want to hide again. I don't want to get bit. Uh, get, get. I would like to sneak off okay. into the shadows I'm, I'm going to tell again. you, you're right in front of it this time. So give oh, me, I'm give in front? Me, give me, give me, give me, no, I'm, I'm going to spit on his eye. I'm, I'm going to get a nasty 20. You, you know, he, doesn't, he, he can't see underneath itself, right? It's a one part oh. of him that doesn't have uh, eyes. Oh, my God, do it. Uh, hide underneath I'm gonna, the boulder. Can I hide under him? It's another Cape Fear. It's him underneath the boulder. It's going to roll. It got a 16. You have to beat a 16 for it not to see you as uh, it moves, as you move. Awesome. Oh. Got this, Haku. It, it is so, a, I have to. Well, I just have to roll perception? No, you have to roll stealth. Sneak. So he, he, he's, it's to trying roll. to perceive you while you're trying to stealth around. Okay. Mm -hmm. Ah, you do Whoa, it! Oh, my boy! You do it! Because <laughs> oh, <laughs> You just you you slide <laughs> underneath to the other side. He's like, wait, what? Um, as, as he's doing you a disappear. Do uh, deck a duple take. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, do you want to roll damage uh, on that? Uh, yes, I would like to roll damage on that. Okay, cool. All right. So, uh, so get, were you gonna attack with your rapier again? Attack with my rapier. Nice. Ooh, oh, no. it not does good. not hit. Um, how oh. many attacks can you do as a? You only have Let's one. See here. I think so. I okay. think he's just got the one because he does. He does it. forty <laughs> frame damage yeah. if he does it. <laughs> that makes sense. <laughs> um, you try and make an attack. It, it misses. And he's still like, okay, where did he go? Where, where is he? He was just here. Um, as all of the eyes are looking around for you. Um, and I think that's your turn. Unless you want to make all any right. other movements, do you want to do anything else? Yeah, talk some crap before you peace out. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, the talking crap is really effective and doesn't have to Yeah, yeah. Li 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 listen to Jared uh, go on that. Yeah, no wonder, <laughs> no wonder all your guests are made of wood. Because you're boring. <laughs> it didn't hit. No, it did not. 1d6 uh, uh, psychic damage added to the that. beholder. <laughs> right. As he tries to understand the burn. Uh, <laughs> he gets health back because it was like, so lame. Because I get you <laughs> four into <laughs> wood. I, I get that. <laughs> uh, moving right along. Uh, we're going to go to Daisy. It's your turn. <sighs> okay. Please, one of these <laughs> attacks hit. I'm going to just... 19! 19! Woo! Does it? So hit once. Yeah, you got it. Hit it once! You hit once. Perfect. <laughs> Roll damage on that. Please include your rage. Did it go? Oh. No, no I hit the wrong one. Oops. No, sorry. Nice. You do 12 damage nice. to it as you, uh, like, bring your great sword down woof, and just, like, uppercut it across its belly. And it says, ah! It screeches out as you deal a, quite a bit of a damage to it as it screeches um it's looking bad it looks almost as if like you guys have uh heard it uh, i mean rough uh, rough uh, gm speak like a third of its health um oh as you guys have been Jeez. picking away at it um 
Do you want to do anything else? Uh, no, I I did all I could do, but I only accomplished one thing. It was it was a good thing though, <laughs> and we're gonna move right along uh, to this animated armor. Um, it's going to double back after the last thing that um, hurt it once again was uh, Hopsy, so it's gonna try and make another attack on you. Um, boom boom. The seven and the six hit you. Nope. Nope. Um, this other one's gonna, oh, and then it's gonna be the Beholster's turn, and it looks around, uh, Beholster. and the, yeah, Beholster, Beholster. The, sorry, sorry, I've been, I've been playing this game called Enter the Gungeon, and, and they have a boss in it called the Beholster, it's very good, the, oh, but this, very be, it's very good, this Beholder <laughs> turns around and sees you, and, uh, looks at the three of you all there, and says, um, all right, enough, uh, and is going to use its eye rolls and it's going to shoot three of them so it's going to roll a d10 three times and you're going to see we're going to see which rolls you get you got a three one and a two um so the three is going to uh be shot at towards uh what's called haku the uh one is going to be shot towards uh daisy and then the two is going to be shot towards um it's the hopsy topsy okay mm -hmm. so three we're gonna start with haku you get hit with a fear ray give me a wisdom saving throw all right uh -oh. not that wise <laughs> i'm 11 so you fail what will happen oh, now no. is you are terrified of this beholster like true you are oh. overcome with fear on ah. your turn you cannot move towards it. You cannot fight it. You like you literally have to use any of your movement that you use moving away from it because it scares you. That doesn't mean you notice. can't attack the other animated armors because you can. You just cannot attack this Rencor while you're feared. Is Haku still underneath it? <laughs> yeah, under his. <laughs> it's on the other, right behind it. One of the eyes like whipped around and like like shot it. Cool. It's like when you have a towel and you. <laughs> <laughs> Caleb. Daisy gets hit with a charm ray. Give me a DC um fifteen DC sixteen wisdom saving throw. Ooh, wait, 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 wait. I'm raging. You're immune to charm. Perfect. As it oh. as it hits you and it, it says, perfect. Now hit your friends. Okay, can I hit it? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm gonna say it's gonna move its at, uh use its movement just enough for you to try to get an opportunity attack on it. Perfect. Hit my friend. Okay, and then I'll just I'll will look like I'm swinging towards yeah. Hopsy, but I'll swing over her head to hit the. Um, oh, uh, you have advantage nice. on this attack as well. Ooh, because it, re it really it really thought it got you. Yeah, well that feels is, right. Wait, no tricksters! <laughs> and it, 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 it gets very mad, um, and uh -oh. then uh, Hopsy, you get hit with a paralyzing ray. Um, you got to make oh, a DC no. 16 constitution saving throw. Okay, constitution saving throw. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Ooh, 20. If you, I gave, I, I, I told you all you all had inspiration at the beginning of this. So if you want to use your inspiration retroactively, I'll say that you rolled what this it, with advantage. Yeah. Which would mean you got a 21. You got a 21. Not all let's do that. I'm a kind of benevolent that, GM that. because this was, I really, <laughs> I really thought you guys were going to sneak around this beholster. I really thought it was, was going to be like a Metal Gear Solid campaign where you're like, na 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 na, na like trying to move it around. Damn. Uh, <laughs> Leroy Jenkins. Yeah. <laughs> See, you're in it. Uh, it's a one shot, baby. As you get, yeah, Jericho dies here. As you get, <laughs> see this paralyzing ray um, hit you, you uh, duck at the last moment as it shoots past you hitting the ground and it um what it does to the wood is it actually you see um it just decays it to a point where it stands still and it rots slightly and then stops as if it cannot move any further um that is gonna be its turn um now this other animated armor is gonna go and it's gonna punch uh hopsy hush <laughs> it's still the last uh, hopsy is the last person to hit it Oh, ah! 21 to hit 22. Ah! Three, three. These guys aren't, they aren't too mean. They're just there. 
Um, <laughs> you know, and it clocks you again. Um, it does uh, an additional six damage to you. All right. Then moving to uh, Jericho Law's Bane, give me a constitution saving throw, I believe, right? This is the big one. Big one. If you want to burn your inspiration for this one, I, I, I would, yeah, I would do it. Yeah, let's do that. Yeah, I'm going to do yeah. that. Um, but it's a dexterity, not a constitution. Oh, it's a dexterity. Yeah, but burn your insp- inspiration. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, oh. 20, never mind. Oh. Right. What'd you get? What'd you get? I'm scrolling nat- up. A natural 20. Nat 20. You, in this moment, <laughs> uh, you, I think this is... We watch the stone begin to form and take root. It moves up from your feet, sort of descending further and further. As you try and twist and fight it, it gets up over your And I'm your stuck arms. in this pose. You're stuck in that <laughs> that exact pose <laughs> as it closes in on you. Uh, as And then suddenly, as you, you get here, you hear um, something. No, 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 no. <laughs> and you know what it is? It's not even guitars from outside. It's literally your heart. Your heart has started throbbing to the tenor of a bass guitar playing a metal riff as the magic of Asmodeus wills through you, lighting up your veins with fire as it, whew, at long last, it shoots up through those cracks and breaks the stone around you. What do you do on your turn? I say praise Asmodeus, and I hit the Beholder with my favorite <laughs> spell in the entirety of Dungeons and Dragons, which is, uh, well, actually, I don't. This is DM discretion. Mm-hmm. Uh, Hellish Rebuke is a spell you can cast in response to being damaged by a creature within sixty feet of you. Mm-hmm. But I didn't take damage technically from that thing. Yeah, but can I use it? In response to being petrified, Hellish Rebuke is also a reaction. So like, it's it's not something that oh, was. So it has to- Oh, so, so I have to do it on the other guy's turn. Yeah, you do okay. it on on his turn when someone. Never so mind. It, it, it we'll get to the hellish take your action. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. So instead, I hit him. I uh, hit Renicor not with Eldritch Blast as usual. Mm-hmm. But use with, a spell spot. Why not? Uh, I don't actually want to use up any spell spots. I only have two left. <laughs> well, that's a treat. <laughs> but uh, but uh, yeah, I want to use. Yeah, you're a warlock. You get them back after like a short rest. All right. Yeah. Okay. Let's do it. Um. I'm, I'm gonna tell. It's, I'm gonna be upfront. This was the biggest bad in this in this place. Like I like like this yeah, man, was the biggest baddest thing in here. All right. Uh, and we went fight. Fight you. <laughs> oh crap! Everybody's in a ten foot radius of the beholder, right? Well, depending on how you, if it's a ten foot radius, depending on how you <laughs> center it, we can sort of mess around with it. Because like, if um, I don't know if you can see this, but like. If it's 10 foot radius, do you see this arrow? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So if it's like a 10 foot radius and they're from there, you could position it so it's like 10 feet like this. Oh. So it like hits, <laughs> hits him on the half. It doesn't hit everyone else. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. Let's, uh, let's do a flame strike. Ooh. Ooh. This is something Ooh. I got. Uh, by multi-classing one level into cleric, which because I thought like maybe I could heal people, but I'm not doing gonna do <laughs> <not> that. Doing <laughs> that. <laughs> a vertical column of divine fi- of infernal fire. We'll we'll find yeah, it. it's it's roars yeah. from uh, roars up from hell in a location you specify. Each creature <laughs> uh, must make a dexterity saving throw, otherwise they take four d six and four d six. Wow. Okay. Okay. So um, it's going to let's get let's get its a uh, dexterity saving throw. Um, yeah, it's it's got to beat sixteen. It's got to beat a sixteen. It got a five. It Whoa! does not yeah! beat a sixteen. <laughs> um, it's it's not it's a it's a bunch of eyes. It's not very dexterous. Um, as you. Give me four a d6 and four d6. Right. So you do yeah, so 11, 11 and, 14. and 14. 25 damage as this infernal uh, as I tornado. Just, a pillar of flame comes out of the ground. So minus uh, 25. Nice. Well done. It's going to use its last legendary action at the <laughs> end of your turn. You guys burn through. It's, bur- it's the last one. You burn through all of them. Um, to do a random eye stock blast so let's see uh, someone let's roll a d10 let's see it's a one Woo-hoo! it's a charm ray it's gonna aim the charm ray at uh back at renicor 
Um, you gotta beat a 16 saving throw. Oh, who does? It's at me. Yeah. Uh, sorry, back at uh, uh, Jericho. 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 Yeah. yeah. Um, and what's the what's the save? A 16 saving throw, but it's to charmed. Unless you have an immunity to being charmed or anything like that to prevent it. Wait, but which uh, which stat for saving throw? Oh, wisdom. Wisdom. <laughs> Not a problem. No, oh, it's a 19. Oh. As you as you try, yeah. I'm wise as hell. Moment, huh? It's like, oh, come on, the party will be fun. As it shoots its laser at you, trying to get. And you. then Jericho just goes, whoosh, catches the beam yeah. mid flight, and says, "I already know how to party." <laughs> I I will let you flavor that nuts. by doing a hellish rebuke onto this, onto the charm. Because that this, is this yeah. is the best day of my life. <laughs> Uh, this, is, this is the most cool thing I've ever heard in my entire life is him saying, uh, I already know how to party. <laughs> and then sh- shooting flames out of his finger. He's got to make another. Is, yeah. It's got to make yeah, another dexterity throw. Just point your finger and flames come out. Um, at 11, it fails. Um, and it takes 2d10 fire damage. 18. Ooh. Ooh. Burning up. Sheesh. 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 <laughs> Moving right along, we go back to the top of the order. Hopsy, it's you. Hopsy, it's me. Mm-hmm. All right, I don't like that these uh, armored guys keep following me around and attacking. <laughs> no one else is it. Rude. They real yeah, feel no like one... like two like Lenny and Bruce like bunk bunk and like. I guy. thought for sure um, that um, uh, whoever Jericho was gonna like stay and like take them out. <laughs> No, he was being he was being turned into a statue, so that's fair. All right, that's fair. That's fair. Um, I can't hit anything. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna really go for it this time. I'm gonna use my um, Mm -hmm. volley and get all three of them again. Cool. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna use my hunter's mark. Um, Um, so the hunter's mark is already still on the beholder. The beholder it has not left. Oh, oh, So you you still got it. Um, I think uh, yeah, perfect. Go for it. Okay, so then never mind. Yeah. So yeah, save your save your spell slot. Okay, but I am gonna hit all three. Yes, 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 yes. So I'll start with um, I'll I'll, I'll do the beholder last. So I'll start with the um, one of the armored guys. Cool, cool, cool. Do you want to do uh, the one right in front of you that hits? Yeah. Okay. I don't think you've missed. I really, I, like, maybe like, I'm a one. really good shot. You're I, really I good only shot. missed my own beer bottle. <laughs> That's true. That's the <laughs> one you missed. Um, I, uh, who's the first? Do you want to hit the? So out of the two that are right next to you, the one mm-hmm. that's clo- the the one that's immediately right next to you um, is uh, has a lot more. Is the one that you grazed with your arrow earlier, mm-hmm. and the one diagonal from you is the one that you hit with uh, your dagger and your arrow uh, a bit right. ago. So who do you want to aim at first? I want the one that I was stabbing. You're stabbing? Cool, cool, cool. So you do uh, seven damage to this guy. Um, it's looking very messed up. Yeah. Right, just if anybody else hits it too, it'll probably die. I'm just putting <laughs> that out there. If anybody wants to help out with the armored dudes. Um, all right, now I'll roll for the other one. Yeah. Ah, I miss it. Oh, As you try, it, it sees the other one goes off and it gl- uh, moves across. This one seems to have your number. For whatever reason, it's coming after you. Um, and then do you want to take another shot at the beholder? Yeah, let's do that. Ah, no! This one you try, you know, you're getting jostled around a little bit. You have to shift to make this last volley. Um, but you still have your second attack. So if you want to make, you want to volley again, um, you'll have used yeah. nine of your arrows out of your 20 at this point. So you're running a little lower. But you're still, you can still do it a couple times. You know, I a little bit want to try chugging and shooting another beer bottle with my second attack. <laughs> if, uh, if we get a donation in the channel, I'll do that. If not, if, if not, I'll volley. Oh, there it is. Well, you know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to sit here and sip my water. I'm going to wait. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to wait for this decision to pan out. So I want a redemption shot effect. at that beer bottle. You know what? Uh, <laughs> I, I'll I'll let you. I'll even say this. You could you could get a redemption shot out of combat. You could do like a cool thing where at the end of the fight you toss it up, and I'll let you roll with advantage on it. Um, I'm, okay, I'm all that right. kind of guy. All right, Miss Dude. All right, all right. I'll do the, I'll do the normal thing and continue. Wait, we just got five bucks. Oh, you just got five. Oh, oh yeah. Just oh, got there we go. <laughs> okay, all right. Use your, I'm your second my attack. Second attack to uh. Whip out one of my home brews, yeah. pop the top, 
chug the beer <laughs> pull out one of my arrows and shoot it get roll a d20 on it roll, roll just roll, straight up roll a d20 i will add six to it because that's your uh longbow modifier oh i, I oh yeah just make a, make a longbow attack just make another longbow yeah. attack what do we get here 17! The 17, the armor class was 16 in my head. I was Ooh. like, it's going to be a 16 in it. You yeah. all blame it. I you got it. it. <laughs> um, it's going to do... It's going it's, to... It's, it is one damage to all the creatures around as the... Uh, <laughs> Can, as the the container of your beer shatters into the, the shrapnel as it um, hits only your enemies for one damage. Nice. 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 That's why my daddy taught Very me Very nice. <laughs> you see one of the eyes get stabbed. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> uh, moving up next. Haku, your, your turn. You are, so you are yes. terrified of this thing. You are overcome Absolutely. with the condition of fear. You cannot mm -hmm. move towards the beholder. Um, you can attack the animated uh, armors. Mm -hmm. You can still go into stealth and sort of move that, but you cannot move closer to it in any way. I would like to use stealth to, wa to walk behind the armored uh, people and attack them. Okay, I'm gonna, yeah. uh, you can, let me just measure something out. Okay. Yes. So do you see this arrow right here? Yes. That is 15 feet from it. Any of those boxes across of it, you will be closer to it than you are now. So mm -hmm. to do it, you'd have to go like this and like that. Um, okay. You only have 30 movement. So you have to think about how far you can go. You could get to like here. So if you want to hit this guy. Yeah. Yeah. Could I get to there? You definitely could. Do, uh, yeah. Roll your stealth first because you have that ability that gives roll you advantage on stealth, stealth before you move. Okay. Yeah. You're still, yeah, 20. You, wow. you know what's crazy is you have a plus so 10. So you've yeah, consistently that's... been rolling 10s. Like 10s, 11. It's not even good. It's just like. So Harrison, that's constant. that character I built for you, dog. I'm very <laughs> sneaky. Thank you, Jericho. <laughs> so you go, bum, 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 ba, dun, dun, dun. <laughs> as you pull up right next to this animated piece of armor. Um, go ahead and roll your sneak attack on it. Sneak attack. Uh, okay. Ah, Damn. It doesn't hit. <laughs> Damn. As you go, you try Bummer. to stab it. It turns around and looks at you right when you're about to stab it. <laughs> ah. <laughs> <laughs> What's that over there? Can I <laughs> <laughs> may, may, make a persuasion check to see if it, it moves over. Okay, persuasion. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's not good enough. It, it oh. stares you down. <laughs> um, moving up next after Haku is Daisy. Here I go again. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Just trying to hit this Ooh, thing. Ooh, both hit. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. I get to hit it twice. You get to hit it twice. Is it? <laughs> yes. Is you wait? So the is it the eight or the twenty-two so or the twenty? So because I I am frenzied raging, so I have oh. two attacks and I can attack a third time as a bonus action. Okay. So um, you hit it tw twice. Hell yeah. So you got the twenty-two and the twenty-three. Roll damage. That one. Nice and nine, that one. ten, nineteen damage. Ah, wow. well done. Chop it wow. away. As hitting you... my friends. Oh God! And no, that one's Jerry, and that one was Frank. You see, as you chop off different eye stalks as it's going across. <laughs> what? Uh, it's always Jerry. <laughs> <laughs> Masood thinks the name Jerry is super funny. Like I, I, I love Jerry, and there, I have an issue where uh, it's a funny name. Little, little, I used to do um, a regular show every Saturday night, and every time I would go up, I would call someone Carl. Carl was the go-to name. It was like, come on, Carl, uh, or if, it, if they were uh, if I'm identifying individual, Carly, um, in that uh, manner throughout constant. So I have go-tos, and Jerry is fun. His 2021's go to. His, his 2021's go to. His Jerry. Um, cool. You. Bye, Jerry. <laughs> Bye, Jerry. You do 19 oh. points of damage as Jerry begins to ah, fly off into the corner. Um, moving up next. Uh, do you want to? You're staying right where you are. You're. Yeah, I'm you're, good here. Cool, cool, cool. Um, moving up. It's this animated piece of armor. Um, this one looks at Haku. And then looks at the uh, at Daisy having just like chopped its uh, master up pretty bit, and it's gonna try and make an attack on uh, you. 
So Let's it's go. gonna roll its slam. I'm sure it's gonna hit. Let's see. Ba -ba -bum. 18? Oh yeah, oh yeah. And a 24. Oh, you, you, well, that would know. So, oh, oh yeah, surprising. Totally. Yeah, yeah, crazy, yeah, right? Yeah, no. Um, it hits you for 20 points of damage. Um, uh, di divided by uh, two, because you're That's raging. Right. So you take mm -hmm, 10 mm -hmm, points mm -hmm. of damage from these two punches that come your way. Boom, boom. Mm -hmm. And then Ooh. it's going to be uh, Renicor's turn. It's going to turn, and its uh, stalks are bleeding, and it's mad. And it's going to look at you, Hopsy, who are right in front of it, and say, Okay, enough! And it's going to uh, make a bite action on you. Oh, no. Mm -hmm. Let's see if I can find... I have its character sheet somewhere. Did I delete it? I'll pull it up. Here it is. Um, it rolled a nat one. Oh, buddy. What 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 happens as it tries to bite down on you, Hopsy? How does it epically go wrong for it as it goes up and goes? What do you what occurs? Uh, Hopsy um, Hopsy's got her uh her beers with her, so mm -hmm. she kind of just like puts one in his mouth. <laughs> you go and it tries to bite down. Ah, and it uh, what's it called? Drink some of the beer. It's actually, mm, mm, it's not bad. Oh, it's a little, a little hoppy, a nice, nice finish. Did you make this at home? Thank you. Did you, I, did, you, I did. Oh my goodness, where did you get this grain content? Is it, uh, do you have your, do you have master list? Like, are you thinking about uh, maybe franchising, setting up, setting up a, a direct delivery system? What you want? You want some of these beers at your party? I don't know. It's not bad. I mean, honestly, now that I'm thinking about it, it could, it could be pretty good for this party. Um, it takes Sorry, a moment, we and it's don't a... sell to lame parties. No! It, ra oh, it gets really him. mad. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> got him. Uh, Six hundred psychic damage. <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I wanted to give you an option. I was like, you know what? You could resolve this peacefully. No, nope, it's back to it. Uh, <laughs> Uh, moving, that's Redicor's turn. Um, it's going to be the animated armor. This one right here is going to just um, make another attack on this. Th this one is really, really hurt, but it's still in the fight. Um, make an attack on Hopsy, an eight, a 19. 19 will hit. It's a seven damage this time. Oh, dang. Mm -hmm. What are you at? Uh, hold on, let me add this seven to it. Yeah. Uh, one. Oh, I just missed the best number. I'm at 67. Oh, okay. Uh. What's the best number? <laughs> Get out of here. Um, speaking of which, uh, you're up next. Um, how uh, visibly uh, to Jericho, how bad does the beholder look? Like, he's missing eye stocks, right? He's, he's losing eye stocks. He's losing a lot of bud. Um, you would say, if you were to estimate, he's on his last third of health. Like, he just got knocked to his last third um, okay. of health. But he's still dangerous. He's so still dangerous. I'm gonna... You also have like two more animated armors that are around that that are exist, but those things are chumps. Okay. <laughs> Erica's got uh, Hopsy's got sixty seven hit points since she's been being punched <laughs> yeah. around all day. Yeah, she'll be fine. <laughs> yeah. Um so I got the cantrip uh vicious mockery, which is usually for bards. Yeah. But um I'm going to cast this at the beholder <laughs> and all the roasts we've been doing so far, mm -hmm. all the little jokes. Mm -hmm. Um, so let me put this in a in a chat here because vicious mockery is my second favorite spell in D anD D because it's just you just, you just unleash mean. a string of insults <laughs> that, yeah. that like hurts them. Yeah. Wait, laced with subtle enchantment. Yeah. Oh, I thought yeah. that was enhancements. Yeah. Never mind. No, so yeah, it's no. enchanted. You're just bullying people. <laughs> yeah, it's just enchanted bullying, and it makes them take psychic damage, and their next roll sucks. So since this this beholder is probably going to be around next turn, mm. um, I'm going to just hit it with. Uh, vicious mockery but the flavor is it's no longer roasts about how the party's bad mm -hmm. it's just like uh jericho's face seems like possessed by asmodeus mm -hmm. and he's just like you suck your parties suck everybody <laughs> hates you all these parties that everyone wants to go home they're counting the minutes until they can go home i must succeed on a that's wisdom that's saving throw it has to beat a 16 otherwise yeah. it's going to have this effect okay 
tell you, it's it's kind of wise. What? Not oh, enough, what? though. Ah. <laughs> what? No, no. People want to be here. I throw the best part. <laughs> Don't I? <laughs> it's, it's literally one of the eye stocks explodes uh, <laughs> under the stress of the psychic damage. Um, it takes three damage, and then uh, the beholder has disadvantage on the next attack roll it makes. Yeah. So, sweet. Hell yeah. Okay, cool. Um, that's Jericho's turn. Moving right along. We're back at the top of the order. Hopsy. Hopsy, Hopsy. Mm -hmm. All right, let's see. Um, I just like using this volley. I'm going to do it again. Mm -hmm. You're going to be at, uh, you'll have used 12 arrows. That's just for me because I like once you hit 20, oh. you can't use it anymore right, until right, the right. fight's over. But yeah. That's fair. Yeah, I'll use them up. Yeah. Um, this time, I'll start with um, the Beholder. Nice. Let's do this. Uh, 25. Wow. That's a hit. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Oh, yeah. You want to do damage or do you want to do all your attacks first? You're saying, oh, uh, 10. A 10? And then also um, you have a hunter's mark on it. So roll an additional d6. Uh, if a 13. Nice. nice. All right. Cool. Now let me, uh, let me hit that, um, the one that's about to fall apart. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's not enough, right? No, that won't be enough. The other one. Ooh. Okay, all right, mm. that's fair. Um, Ooh, so another twenty. Okay, four. Four damage on this one. <laughs> oh, it's really funny. Um, Why is that? It's just enough to kill this one. I really, I thought no I, it's just enough to kill this last yes! one. As this armor, yes! uh, as this armor, in, this animated armor finally collapses, uh, the one that you'd been beating up on, um, as it whoosh, crumples to the floor. Um, well done. So we're going to get rid of this animated armor right here um, that goes right before uh, Renicor. And, uh, right after Renicor into Jericho. So, um, yeah, and that's your first attack. Um, what do you want to do next? I'm going to do it all again, baby. Hell yeah. So this will be put you up at 14 arrows at this point. Um, okay. Mm -hmm. I think I think we're going to be able to take care of it. I don't know. If I think so. You're, 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 you're chunking away. Okay, so uh, I'll start with the um, Beholder again. Hell yeah. Uh, it's a miss. Oh. <laughs> Jay. Okay, and then uh, let's do another one. Mm -hmm. Ah, there also a miss. Close, oh, but what? yeah. Oh, 18. 18 yeah. is kind of the magic number right now. Um, yeah. But that's your turn. You you got rid of one of the ancient armors. You were able to, like, you also hit it for a bit. Like, you, the first attack landed. You did, um, what's it called? Uh, 13 damage onto it. It's looking pretty messed up. Uh, moving forward, Haku, you're up next. Uh, well, of course, I would like to sneak again and short bow at uh, that armor thing in the face. Okay. Go for it. Okay. Give me so, give me that, that hide stealth. action. That sweet, sweet stealth. Stealth. Okay. So 25, 25. consistent. Yes. Amazing. All right. Short bow to the face. Good natural Ooh, 20. Yeah. Well done. Wow. Roll damage, including sneak. Yes. And then uh, I have an ability where I could hide again <laughs> after, after <laughs> if you cunning could. action. Oh, oh no, I think kind of uh, that, that's what you have been using. Your cunning action that I have been using. Yeah, been to using. hide on your bonus action. Okay, cool. Yeah. But uh, roll damage because uh, th this armor, uh, okay. your short bow, it dies. You wow. killed it. You, you, <laughs> you <laughs> are you. <laughs> <laughs> what? You, just do? you uh pop forward you get your your short bow ready you aim and what it, did you just do <laughs> it's a dragonborn thing it's you a would dragonborn have thing. <laughs> dragonborn. Uh, as it raises poison bubbles it's, uh, <laughs> to smash on you you see it lifts its head and for a moment you see the the gap um and you see where the magic was bound on this animated piece of armor situated right at the base of where the spine would connect to the actual uh metal armor something akin to some uh full metal alchemist for you nerds out there um you're able to pull your arrow straight through the gap hit it uh as it whoosh, begins to crumble in front of you and as it falls you feel triumphant feeling great only to see the thing of that which you fear the most looming right above, uh, directly in front of you now. 
So moving up next, <laughs> Daisy. <laughs> All right, good go get, good go get, and really hope I hit at least one time. There it is, okay, there's 19, one time. that's one. Nice. There's uh, not a... That's okay. two, and it's two oh, big yeah. hits. Is that 10? And another 10. Oh, you're crushing away. You're try, knocking try, it down. You, yeah. it's, you are pushing it back as you sort of make multiple strikes, closing the distance on it. It's batting away, being pushed back into the corner as it's also cowering further and further to the ground. Um, so that is minus 20 health. Ooh, big, big damage to it um, ah. as it's uh, feeling really messed up. Um, uh, this animated armor has gone. It's Rencor's turn, Rencor's turn now. Um, it is mad. It is upset. <laughs> it is going to use... It screeches out, Well, no one even invited you to my party, so get out! As it tries to do another... Um, uh, try a beam attack with its eyes um with disadvantage with this that's the thing oh, it's got right. disadvantage yeah. so the way it's going to work out instead because these aren't attack rolls these are like rays that you guys get hit with oh, right. um i'm going to say you guys have advantage on the checks i think that's the Makes way sense. that we can sort of make the counter um so for this one i'll have each of you roll me a d10 and that's the ray you get hit with Uh, Erica, roll a d10. Oh, sorry. You know what's crazy? It's numbered one through ten. There's literally not a number four on here. Oh, I'll just roll again. Okay. Oh no. <laughs> okay. Uh, cool. Uh, let's go. Let's start with um. Off the top, uh, Kaylee five. You get hit with the um uh in the necrotic ray again um Yay. give me a constitution oh, no. uh, save with advantage <laughs> oh boom it doesn't even you take uh it's 36 divided by 2 18 damage um okay. from this um and it's uh you shrug it off as you are able to see that it is on its last legs it's throwing everything it can now to try wow. to stay in control um, moving up next is going to be, it's called er, uh, Erica. Um, Erica, you rolled a 10. It's going to hit you with its death ray. So on this, you got to make a DC 16 dexterity saving throw. And I get advantage, but how do I roll with advantage? Oh, it you rolls just, for you. So you see here, it's got okay. two numbers. That that's that's the way uh, it will take the higher of the two. Okay, gotcha. Mm -hmm. It's at 11. Oh, no. Um, how much health are you at? <laughs> I am at 67. You take 55 points of necrotic damage. Are you serious? Yeah, dude, if, you, if you'd if gotten 55? to zero, if you'd gotten to zero, you would be dead. Like straight, D-E-A-D. Oh, not not making death gosh. saves, not unconscious, full on dead. Um, as it hits you directly on, um, Harrison uh, and uh, Ben, you both roll an eight. So uh, on this one, it's going to try and get you with its petrification ray. Oh, I hate this ray. Oh, yeah. come on. <laughs> with advantage, though, you got dexterity saving throws. Oh, so use your dex dex dexterity? Dexterity dex saving, saving throw. throw. All right. Ooh, uh, Ben, you get hit with it again. Seven. Oh, no. Right. Ah, you're able to on a 15. You Oh, no, you got a 19. So you're able to get out of the way. Um no longer being hit with this petrification uh, the petrification as it's sitting there <sighs> panting as it used its last of its energy to try and stop you all um uh jericho it's your turn let me make another save make another dexterity saving throw Jericho is permanently become a statue <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. oh it's a 12 no. jericho <sighs> You turn into a statue. What does it look like? <laughs> uh, just like <laughs> no. this. Gets like this. No, it's him. It's him going like this. Yeah, yeah. It's like, and I know that I feel bad, but also there's kind of poetry to this because he's he is the one who started it. But we should probably figure out how. Well, to if you uh, at some split point. hairs, the uh, beholder decided to respond to my mean question. <laughs> You're mean yeah, you're mean. You're an accusatory <laughs> statement. Hey, at least he's already built his own memorial. Sticks and stones. That's right, that's true. That's Saves true. us a lot of time. 
just it's very to tasteful. Put a code at the bottom. Yeah. Well, that's <laughs> Jericho's <laughs> turn and perhaps existence. So we'll move right along to Hopsy. Um, Hopsy wants to memorialize uh, Jericho <laughs> with a favorite quote from him, <laughs> which was earlier in the campaign when he went insane and just said. <laughs> <laughs> that's on his epitaph nice perfect all right uh let's see um i'm pretty close to this thing right mm -hmm. um yeah let me let me take out the sh the, the short sword mm -hmm. and strike okay. oh 25 definitely hits roll damage four plus uh roll me a d6 An eight damage. Oh, you guys eight. are crushing it. This guy is really, really messed up. Um, he's on his last, last legs. Um, as it's, uh, you see it bleeding, it bleeding and like pushing down almost onto the ground. Um, do you want to do, you have a uh, second attack. Do you want to make your second attack? Yep, let's do the same thing. Mm -hmm. Short sword. Boom. 20 hits. 20. Roll damage. Yeah. Well done. Five, roll me uh, uh, another D6, because it's still Hunter's Mark on this guy. Uh, D6. Oh, okay, so oh. six, an additional okay. six. It, this, once again, I could not, I cannot overstate how messed up this guy looks. You are <laughs> really, really putting it to him. He is uh, in the ringer. Uh, this is the worst day of his life. Um, <clears throat> potentially last. <laughs> so moving right along, we've got Haku up next. You are still... Still terrified of this guy, because um, fear lasts. Uh, I believe. Well, let's. I think you have to make a wisdom saving throw, right, to come out of the fear condition. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay, yeah, you're still afraid. So man. make a. Oh no, that's enough. That beats it. So you're able nice. to. It was a DC nice. 16. So you are able to turn around. Do you want to make an attack on uh, the beholder? I want to spit at its mouth. It's oh. not an attack. Oh. I'll let you do that as a free Damn. action. I'll let you do it as a free action. It's not Maybe an you attack. Meant spit poison in its mouth. Oh, you got spit poison in its mouth. Oh, you do. You have a breath weapon. You're absolutely right. No, I don't. I don't want to spit in anybody's mouth when I'm not. I'm. I was like, I didn't it. Yeah, take it, take it like out to dinner first. No, Haku was in it. <laughs> I like that Mizu was still <laughs> down for it, though. Like, oh, okay. okay that's fine. I mean, that's you, a good DM. If you that's wanna... a good DM. <laughs> what, what do I roll to spit in its mouth? You roll the... Okay, first off, let's let's pull up your breath weapon. Let's let's look at what we did last time. Oh, uh, uh, yeah. Okay, so you're on your breath weapon, we've got right here... Um, it's a eight plus your constitution plus your proficiency. I think we figured out that um, eight plus your proficiency is 12 plus your constitution is one. So 13, it's gotta be a 13 on its dexterity save. Otherwise it takes um, the full damage. Otherwise it's gonna take half, okay? So roll oh, roll the damage for the breath weapon. For the breath weapon, yes. okay. Whoa, the... uh, it, it's gonna, it naturally misses. Um, it, got a, it got a natural 20. Um, on your, as you try and spit acid at it, um, it just rolls over at the last second and it dodges. And then I hide again as my second action. You roll so. <laughs> <laughs> and so I, I'll, I'll roll another hide the sneak. L L stealth. Just incredible. You're gone. You disappeared. <laughs> just, you, you yeah. actually put on the animated armor in front of you and just stand inside of it. <laughs> Just I'm, hide hiding. Behind, I'm hiding inside the hide behind Jericho's Jericho's Jericho statue. statue yes. Oh <laughs> <laughs> uh, heck yeah! Um, all right, Daisy, it's up to you. Ah! Not just Daisy. Come on, at least one hit, please. Oh, you got two, two. of them. Yes. Daisy, <gasps> describe how you kill Renacor. <gasps> yes. So. After just like round after round of just like wailing on this guy with my great sword, I'm going to uh, level my sword one last time. Finally found it properly. <laughs> yes! <about> that. Yes! <laughs> and just through his main big eye, you'd be like, oh, you know what, actually? This party turned out to be pretty fun, and just stabs him right through. Yeah, you see, you see a smile appear on its face before it realizes the joke. <laughs> As you uh, crush its eye, oh, and it, my. you see it, it shift rapidly. Its circle phase in and out as it begins to collapse and on itself, as if imploding. Before, whoo, it's gone. There is nothing left at the end of your sword, um, except a, a little bit of 
acid that almost hit. Um, the statue that is Jericho, the the rock is almost all the way around his mouth, and the last thing you hear him say is, "Got his ass." For the <laughs> rock closes <laughs> and becomes, becomes a statue. But his face is forever like. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, the way to go. Uh, <laughs> you did it. You 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 solved my non-combat puzzle. Crazy. You solved it. Well, that was definitely. a non-combat puzzle. It wasn't supposed, supposed to be to combat. It was, thanks. <laughs> thanks, <laughs> Jericho. We're supposed to see a beholder and go, oh, it would be ill-advised to fight. Crazy to fight that thing. That's, that's a terrible decision. But you did it. it. What? You all survived. Yeah. Uh, and now you have to just do the hard part. And finding Errant Quill still trapped somewhere in this manner. But oh that might be <laughs> for another one shot. Uh, looking at the time, we might have reached our end. We're going to uh, move on over to our outros. Thank you all so much for hanging out with us today. It has been a blast playing uh, Candle Keeps Mysteries, a curious tale into Wisteria Bell. Once again, giving a shout out to Kenya Shaw for writing this. Uh, dude, it's been so much fun. We're having a blast. I'm sure, and I, if you're watching this, I butchered it, and we ruined your story, but we, I apologize. <laughs> we were having a blast on our way in. Um, so thank you for letting us have that. Uh, let's go around and say who you are, where folks can find you on the internet, what else you got going on. Um, and let's just go uh, around the bend. Let's start off with uh, Harrison. Hi, everybody. Uh, Harrison here. I was playing Haku. Uh, you can catch me on Twitter at Harrison underscore happen or on Instagram at Harrison is happening or on PlayStation where you could add me. My gamer tag is Monkey Mud. I play Apex. Come, please get me to Diamond. Thank you. <laughs> Moving right on, Kaylee. Hey, everybody. I'm Kaylee Bray. You can find me on Twitter at Hoppa Barbarian. Uh, I am live tonight for the season finale of Damsel's Dice yes. and Everything Nice on Pixel Circus. We have been working for five years towards this boss fight, y'all. Uh, don't miss it. If uh, we hit our donation goal um, at Pixel Circus tonight, my PC will join them in the combat to help them while I'm DMing. Very fun. Um, so that's going to be exciting. Uh, that's on Pixel Circus at 6 p.m. Pacific. Uh, you can also find me uh, on Mondays here on Roll20 for our uh, Kids on Bikes campaign at 8 a.m. Pacific with the wonderful Shu, who mm -hmm. all of you are very familiar with. Of and on fri uh, next Friday, um, normally on Fridays, you catch me on Failed Save on Pixel Circus, our comedy D&D &D show. Uh, but uh, this Friday, we have a very special event. It's a DM roundtable with Vince Casso and Rachel Seeley and Gina DeVivo. And Anthony Carboni is going to be, and Abria Iyengar, and Anth Anthony Carboni is going to be moderating. It's going to be super, super fun. And that'll be at 630 uh, Pacific, so don't miss it. Hell yeah, this this Friday. Hell yeah. What day is it? It's Saturday. It a week a Saturday. From, it's, it's six a days week from, from now. yesterday. Yeah, got it, yeah. got it. Hell yeah. Very, very cool. And what was the Twitch that I was on again? Pixel Circus. Pixel. You can find me at Pixel Circus most most of the time. I'm the executive producer of Tabletop over there, and, and we always got some good stuff going on. Hell, Hell yeah. yeah. And right, let's move right along. Uh, ben? Hey, folks. Uh, ben Cummings here. You can find me at Ben Cummings with one M uh, on Twitter and Instagram. Uh, sometimes post very good stuff. Often don't post anything. You can also find me on Twitch uh, Tuesday nights. Uh, I've been chatting a little bit in the chat from this account, but uh, twitch.tv slash Crocodile Nasties, Chicago comedians uh, forced home by the pandemic, mm -hmm. bravely playing video games together on Twitch, 9 p.m. on Tuesdays, Central Time. And uh, you can also see me, with, of course, with Stir Friday Night on our Wednesday Monster of the Week show, uh, Wednesday nights on this very channel, Roll20 app. Um, and then later this summer in Chicago, you can see me on stage, but I'll give you more details about that later down the Ooh. pike. Ooh. Yeah, Harrison, I noted that you did not plug our show. We'll talk about oh, that later. Oh, yes. Uh, moving right <laughs> along to Erica. Intelligence, <laughs> negative one. Thank you. <laughs> Erica, you're yeah. up next? Yeah. I'm Erica. You can find me on the internet, mostly on Instagram at Bebica underscore says. And I'm not going to miss an opportunity to plug our show. Uh, we play Monster of the Week on Wednesday nights uh, on the World 20 uh, Twitch mm -hmm. channel. And uh, yeah, you should catch us there. 
Heck yeah. And then I'm Masood. Hey, guys. Uh, you can find me on Instagram and Twitter at Marudboy, M-A-H-R-U-D-B-O-I. Um, I do uh, a lot of stuff online, um, mainly uh, on Tuesday nights. I play Generation F, a homebrew 5th edition fantasy campaign over on Dungeons & Dragons, sponsored by Roll20. Um, I have a blast. I played the worst PC you've ever met, even worse than Jericho Laws, Bane. Yes, I promise. <laughs> uh, Kent Vanderbilt. You can go meet him on uh, on our VODs or just come hang out with us on Tuesdays. On Wednesdays, um, I'm with these wonderful folks. I get to GM them um, for Monster of the Week. We're playing a very spooky game where we're looking at strange creatures that go bump in the night in our own backyard of Chicago, which I've been having a blast. Bring to life for folks not only from here, but also hopefully enjoyable for folks uh, outside. And then... Um, I was going to say I have something on Saturday, but this is the thing that I had on Saturday. So, yeah, uh, follow me <laughs> online on Twitter uh, to see what I got going on. Um, but thank you so much for hanging out. Oh, there's going to be another lovely stream after this. The folks over on Love and Lanterns Masks, they uh, created their characters this morning. You're going to see their campaign. So please, please, oh, please do not go anywhere. We'll have it right here. Uh, see you on this channel. Um, but thank you again also for hanging out. Thank you for donating to this wonderful cause. If you got any more, keep giving it because um, we appreciate it. Um, but yeah, thank you so much. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.